27th, Monday, yeah. April 27th, quarantine, lockdown, whatever, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, so, uh, <laughs> um, okay, so we have a lot of serious topics to talk about, and I haven't really met with Brittany in a while. Um, I don't know, it's been a month and a half or maybe longer like since, since the quarantine started. Mm -hmm. Our last visit was very significant mm. because we went down to Van Nuys Police Station to report the things being done. Right. And like usual, them trying to curve me and make me think it's my fault and tell me that I should want to be uh, infamous and hunted and me walking out saying, so you're not going to do anything and them saying no and... Mm me substantiating I told you what this is about it's about me stopping my brother from bashing Greg while I was heading with a crowbar and we, we spoke about whether my brother really was going to do it is irrelevant right. and it turns out that my brother with Greg Waugh are coming after me to try to set me up to make it look like I'm helping my brother go after Greg Waugh which I told my brother I'm not going to help you on these things and blah 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 with his blood is thicker than water and I'm going to put you in a mental institution right. okay now, obviously, it gets a lot deeper and it gets a lot more complex, and that's around 16 and it actually starts at 5, but they're the same templated activities from groups of people to try to lock me away, mm -hmm. going from group to group to group to group to group my entire life until there's worldwide groups to exterminate me, and a lot of this has to do with my brother's cover-ups that he was a thugging, bullying, annoying older brother and not on a normal level because I didn't understand the things he was doing, like keep showing me horror movies and trying to flip me out and say I'm crazy and right. conform to media with my own father telling him to do it. Okay, so anyways, I don't want to get on a tangent, mm -hmm. but from that much information, you can pretty much understand the level of complexity with people like my father with psychology degrees, me being born on Air Force bases in Merced, mm -hmm the types of things that they don't want me talking about, this opens up doors about okay. with, I can't tell you from fact, but obviously there's all sorts of freaky illegal things on NSA level with the psychology community and psychological warfare that derive from Adolf Hitler's resume as next, a next step in his warfare tactics, um, inherited by the U.S. government saying, hey, Adolf Hitler's an evil guy, but we're going to use some of his psychological warfare tactics if we flag people and things like that, right? right? Okay, now I can't, sure, it's a conspiracy theory or whatever, based on only one, I have only one conspiracy theory because the, uh, what's her name, the prosecutor and right. these mass groups... Yeah. Karen Green. Phillips or whatever were playing these scams like, oh, Kevin, you, so you believe in conspiracies and this and that? Just one. Mass groups hunting me down to fucking eradicate me. Mm -hmm. And it's not a conspiracy. Correct? Right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's been proven a hundred billion times over, especially if I'm forced to put up a website and they get death threats, you're not allowed to defend yourself and tell anyone what's going on after the police refuse to help me right. a million times over. Yeah. yeah exactly. Okay. So, let's... Well, I'm going to fly through this shit because okay. we have so much to talk to and then hopefully we can freeform it sure. after maybe go back because okay. we never finish. Um, on that note, so we went down to the police station. A week later, I get an inter inter ah, internal affairs letter stating that I'm lying. <laughs> oh, I have it too. Okay, you were there, correct? What? When? At the police station? Or when? Correct. This isn't specifically, this internal affairs letter isn't specifically mm. 
about last week. It's about oh. it's, it's in general. Okay. But you were there with me last week. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I've been to 15 to 20 police stations all across Southern California. Every time. And they're all audio recorded too. Them saying that mass groups are allowed to get together and torture oh. and kill me if they don't touch me, um, and different variations, and them getting angrier and angrier, no matter what county I'm in, showing the connected events. And just to be fair, before going down to each police station mm -hmm. in San Diego and um, uh, Redondo and Torrance and Bakersfield and. Um, I went to coffee shops and sat there for 30 minutes watching people stalk me and take getting proof right. and then walking into the police station 30 minutes later right. with local area activities each each city mm -hmm. okay and they wouldn't do a thing and they all knew who I was trying to make me look crazy right okay right. so okay this so says, yeah you can start reading it Your allegations the employee told you LAPD was not obligated to help you refuse to accept video evidence, fail to arrest the suspect, and twist your statements in the report have been classified as demonstrably false. Try to read louder. Demonstrably yeah, demonstrably false. false. Look, look at, I highlighted it because they're sort of putting like a message like I'm a monster. Right. right. Which means the investigation determined that the acts alleged did not occur. What is dem I need to look up that word. Is, I think it just means like horribly false, or flagrantly or false. Or I don't even know. I mean, for all I know, that I've never heard of the word anyone use that word in that either. context. It might mean like nothing, but um, I actually called up. Who did I call up? I called Michael R. Moore, chief of police, on the phone. And I said, you know what? I got your fucking letter, and you you can call. You're full of shit, and you can call me on the fucking oh. phone. I didn't get yeah. a call. Really? No, of course not. Of course not. Okay, so... Oh, this says demonstrably means in a way that is clearly apparent or capable of being logically proved. It's, it's, in it, a way that is clearly apparent or capable of being logically proved. Yeah, okay, I have a website. Uh, Kevin Perlman Target has a page that says police refusing to help with like a hundred police reports. Mm -hmm. And they can't connect a hundred different events to anything out of the norm. Right. Bullshit. Right. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit. This is a cover up. You were in there with me. Right. You were in there. Aside from the audio recordings or the endless police reports showing that they won't do, do anything mean, above a simple piece of paper right. and asking about like the psychological warfare and abuse and stuff like yeah. that in the police station literally they said there's nothing they can do he's full of shit yeah completely fucking full of shit you don't think that this this organization like that is interlinked through computers worldwide right okay if example if i rob a bank if i walk in with an m16 and rob a bank yeah and i hop my car and i drive to mexico or i go fly to sweden or i go to uh freaking Zimbabwe I don't know yeah did they instantly have the internet capabilities to track me down exactly. through the police linking through the FBI linking through CIA linking through all these agencies mm -hmm. oh they don't have those capabilities bull fucking shit and right. it links through FBI and cyber warfare and Department of Defense it's all linked right they're just not going to do anything because they hate Kevin's guts and they want Kevin yeah. Perlman dead and that's what needs to be talked about what is going on Kevin Perlman needs to be hunted and killed since five years old. He turns 29, met with Mike Huntley. You're a fucking dead man. We're going to kill you with the government. That's where me finding out what's going on starts. But it starts at five years old. Yeah. The entire planet told, given hundreds, thousands and thousands of lies about me in secret so that I can't defend myself. Right. With Ronald Barry Perlman and Mike Huntley saying you're a dead man and you can't defend yourself. Right. Okay, so nothing makes any sense other than the government has sanctioned a worldwide execution in unheard of methods starting at five years old going after a five-year-old right. because I was supposedly breathing fire and, <laughs> and lasers were coming out of my eyes right, right okay. okay so so okay. obviously this is a falsified fabricated statement by LA County yeah correct and internal affairs corrupt as shit okay um, just so you can see the letter here, it exists. Um, okay, next thing. Uh, we had an older video of me going down to the post office with Brittany Henderson, uh, filing, um, bar 
complaints about what Seymour Amster, Kareen T. Phillips. I'm not sure if I did Richard Barnwell in that one. I don't think so. Um, Brittany, the bar associate, uh, the bar association, writing a letter to me saying, "We don't see anything strange here, but if if Green T. Phillips or anyone is trying to debunk Brittany's credibility as a therapist because I went to see her, and they're mad about that, or me videoing this, so they're mad, so they can get revenge mm -hmm. or silence Brittany by destroying her life." Mm -hmm. That that is highly illegal. Yeah. Words from the Bar Association. We sent two different letters. One for me with the same paperwork. Identical paperwork. Right. Exactly. The from same. Brittany and one for me. We have a video of us going to the post office. Uh, getting the certified mail. All that shit. Yeah. Okay. We get responses. They are completely different. Yeah. Okay. So first, uh, Brittany. Let's see. This is... This is the one to Brittany Henderson. Um, I'm not going to read the whole thing, but um, the state bar's office chief trial has reviewed your complaint against, um, they spelled it wrong, uh, Han and Nitu Bottom Smith. Nitu Bottom Smith. The judge in your client's, in your client's state court case, I think I highlighted the wrong part. Please be advised the state bar is not authorized to address the right. complaints of misconduct by a sitting judge. Therefore, we are closing our complaint. Now, first of all, I'm not on the bar association, but a judge is basically a lawyer. They who, pass the bar. Who regulates the judges then? I think the bar association does. Right. I think they're just lying. Now, I can't. I'm not. I can't tell you that factually, but that's my gut instinct. They're full of shit. Right. Now, more importantly. They say they're closing the case for Brittany because she's bad-mouthing a judge. Now, Brittany's letter, identical to mine, yeah. isn't primarily about a judge. As a matter of fact, the primary argument right. is about Kareen T. Phillips and Seymour Amster conspiring together to get rid of um, uh, Brittany and their statements. Uh, Kareen, I'm going to report Brittany to, the, to whoever. Mm -hmm. And the judge, Nitu Bottom Smith, saying, um, yeah, do it. Yeah. Okay. And the complaint made. Now, this is the most important part. Why did the Bar Association leave out everything else? Right. That's what I was They thinking. curved the argument to one thing. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't even the, the, pri the priority complaint. Right. It was about Kareen T. Phillips and Seymour Amster. And then they curve it. Oh, you're going after a judge, and uh, this is pointless and bye. Exactly. Okay, well, the complaint is supposed to encompass everything right. it didn't in a situation that. that is occurring. And do you see this thing that's happening with each and every person around me? Mm -hmm. How they discount everything? Yeah. Like, they don't have the ability. Okay, it's like if I showed you a photograph here, and all you could focus on was one pixel of the photograph. Right. You know, what about the kid going like this? What about the water splashing? What about the waves in the background? What about the plane dropping in the sky? Right. Everything else? No, there's a kid in the picture and you're a pedophile. What, uh, what are you talking about? Right. Same type of thing here. Exactly. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. No. Okay. Not at all. Now that's Brittany's response. But wait a minute, what about Kevin Perlman's response? It doesn't say anything like this. Okay, so this is the this is the state bar letter to Brittany Henderson. Now we have the state bar letter to Kevin Perlman, which is completely different. Oh, what did I put here on my notes really quick? This response is completely different than the response to me, nor does it mention the complaints against Seymour Amster working with prosecutor Crane T. Phillips. Judge E. Bottom is mentioned as judges are lawyers diverting the true argument into something it is not like usual, and ignoring the whatever got caught off the obvious or whatever. Okay. Um, do you remember when we sent these, like the date? No, it's been about maybe two or three months, maybe. Because yours says January 14th and mine says March 16th, and I feel like we sent them January 14th. after January 14th. These are replies. Right, but we sent it, like I, my reply was in March, but yours was in January. So like two months different? I'm not 
I would have to look. I mean, like, did we even send it before this date? I, mean, I probably did. Okay. I, I, I've sent, I even sent ones after we sent. Okay. With Richard Barnwell. Sense. So I, see, I keep sending. More. I keep doing it over because they refuse to be fucking honest. Right. And more and more people keep coming after me, trying to lock me away. And someone needs to do something. So I can't tell you specifically. I just was thinking like they didn't even look at it. I, they just I this think what happened, something. because remember, I deal with, I mean, today alone I have over 500 things on video of people trying to make me mentally ill. Just right. driving here. Okay, so um, I think probably what happens is I keep submitting it yeah. and getting different varying responses that don't, don't make any sense. Right. And um, I'm not sure. This reply is the same exact timing as when we send them both. Okay, that makes. I'm sense not even sure anymore. But I just didn't know. The I point just, is that it doesn't matter. The point is that I was just they're getting the same documentation. Right. No, I just thought that they responded without even reading it because if we sent but, it, like no, well, probably what they did 13. is they skimmed. Oh, this is from Kevin Perlman, and they skim. Oh, we'll judge right. his name here and throw some bullshit answer. Right. That's what I was stonewalling. Saying. Right. Yeah, because that's two months. So, so yeah. Anyway, that yeah. makes sense to me. I'm just like. That'd be crazy if they yeah. sent yours so much faster than mine. It's like well, but they do do all these weird, it. freaky, illegal things, exactly. and or trippy. Not not necessarily illegal, but unethical. Unethical, yeah. Okay, so um, this is my response. It is the duty of the, the attorney to support the Constitution of laws of the United States. Or they could have just backdated it. By the way, who knows? Right. Um, support the Constitution and laws of the United States. Of the state. So now they're talking about constitutionality. <laughs> yeah. Here it appears that you are alleging that Miss Phillips' actions were a violation of law. I'm alleging. Mm -hmm. I'm alleging. Kevin Pearl. What? This is important because everything that happens to me in life, it's always my fault. Right. If my brother goes out and he does this road rage shit, it's Kevin's fault. If um, if that person over there chokes on their their bone eating, it's my fault. Mm -hmm. If if I walk into a Starbucks and a thousand people come in trying to mentally batter me to death and kill me or rid me of the world and then follow me to every place in the world, I'm making them do it. Okay. I'm annoying and making them do it because when I sipped on my coffee, I yawned or something. So there's a worldwide campaign to kill me. Just like the Aubrey Fisher excuse, I tapped my foot by her. For six years, worldwide people saw me and started tapping right. because I'm making Aubrey Fisher hunt me to have me killed because supposedly I'm annoying and a it's troll ridiculous. because she doesn't like people who tapped her foot and even if I did joke around with her right it's, she's a psychotic murderer exactly paid off by the government but the point is and I'm getting a little sidetracked here the point is that if you're by a psychotic murderer they're going to be annoyed with anything you do right. uh, that person might be annoyed because I know 3d animation and they're gonna kill me and right. that person might be annoyed because I was walking down the street and stepped on a leaf and the sound pissed them off <laughs> and they're going to kill me. Why is that my fault? It's just not. like the people just kept setting off my alarm this week and then said, I'm doing all these things to them because my alarm keeps going off. Well, the entire concept of an alarm is that when you keep putting dog shit on someone's car and things right. like that, the fucking right. alarm's going to go off. Right. It's not my fault. Okay, it's there, what they're doing. And we're going to get back to that. Let's stay on topic. Okay. It is the duty of the attorney to support the constitutional laws. Kevin Perlman has alleged. Kevin Perlman has alleged. It appears that alleging that Miss Phillips' actions were a violation of law. Unfort next, they're going to say, I think I'm a lawyer. Unfortunately, Miss Phillips reporting your therapist to the Board of Behavioral Sciences does not amount to a violation of ethical duty. In addition, the state bar is not the trier of fact and cannot determine whether Miss Phillips. Phillips properly served. What are they talking about? They're that's the Bar Association. That's exactly what I just underlined. How <laughs> can you not determine that she incorrectly served the subpoena twice and then had a warrant out for Yeah, her? lawyers look at law books all day and determine right. what's right and wrong and if I can provide proof. So now the Bar Association doesn't do anything about making judgments whether someone did something right or wrong if you complain about it. Right. Just like internal affairs. Hey, we're the, we're the Bar Association, but we're not allowed to say a lawyer did anything wrong. So what do you do? Exactly. Who you do the same thing as the police, sit back and fucking eat donuts and kill Jews? I mean, <laughs> right? right. <laughs> That's your purpose? Exactly. That's what my fucking taxpayer dollars pay? Okay. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's like insane. So, And then the next sentence, 
the court having jurisdiction is the appropriate venue to make any legal and factual findings. So what does that mean? It means the court can do whatever the fuck they want. Right. Just like Seymour's words and who another lawyer, your lawyer, I don't remember his name. Oh, the cops don't trust me. They can do whatever they want. So if the cops don't trust me, they can put a bullet in my head. If the cops don't trust me, they can violate my privacy and have fucking uh, people rape me to death and kill me. No, they can't. I mean, sure, they can. But once you go up normally through the hierarchy, people are held accountable. In my case, because they threw some weird label on me at five years old and ripped away my constitutional rights, I have no protections. With the father going around, I'm going to kill you and you're not allowed to defend yourself. Okay? At five years old. Because I threw some fucking mud in the street and hit a car? There's no... That doesn't even make sense. Uh Uh-uh. No, you're a little boy. No, and if you want to talk about people with trauma, let's talk about Jason Perlman, who was bit in the face twice by Oppo, then started to fucking hunt me down to have me killed at five years old. Oh, shit. Yeah. So your dog bit him? Our dog, we had a common door, a show dog. Um, this big ugly, it looks like a walking carpet. Really? Yeah, like the long, you know, the <laughs> long know carpet. Exactly what okay, and my dad put in dog shows, and like all the animals my dog has, they all go crazy. And um, the dog bit my brother in the face, mm-hmm. and then I think they did some behavioral thing or something, and then they did it again, supposedly. Yeah. And that's when my brother snapped, I guess, mm-hmm. and wanted to inflict pain on me the rest of my life, probably telling the world I think I'm a dog or something. I can't tell you. Because all the things my brother's doing are little schizo hints about dogs and Son of Sam things with dogs and trying to make me look crazy and... That's okay, so the guy's nuts. He's right. insane. Yeah. Okay? And, um... That's his trauma. It has nothing to do with me. Right. Okay. My trauma is turning 29 and finding out there's a worldwide campaign to kill me and that's a daily trauma because every day I'm fighting off a planet that wants me dead. Exactly. Going, you're crazy and imagining it. While I get over 25 terabytes of video now of it. Right, okay, exactly. so sorry I'm talking so fast, no, we're always okay. limited on time. Okay. Um, so Kevin Perlman is alleging this and that, and the Bar, Associ- the Bar Association is powerless to make judgments whether uh, lawyers are doing things right or wrong based on factual evidence with photos mm-hmm. and video and audio right. recordings and this and that. All the evidence you can so, so what they're saying is the Bar Association, just like the police, don't do anything at all. Right. But go after people they don't like. Okay, so, um, and remember that I don't know these people. I'm not a lawyer. I don't work in law. There's no, I'm a fucking 3D animation artist who came out of college finding out that he's being hunted to be killed by worldwide support. Right. And found out that every person I've ever been in contact with was trying to make me look crazy and eradicate me. Okay, with the police and government and psychology community. No offense to you. No, it's okay. (laughs) Okay, so, I'm not reading the whole thing. This is my version, which is completely different, completely different. from Brittany Henderson's version. Um, it's for different. me, it states, for me, it states, um, I'm alleging that this is a, a crime, and for Brittany's, it states you're going after a judge. Why doesn't it's completely state, completely different. Why doesn't Brittany state that you can't make these claims? Right, exactly. Okay. Now, this is the most important. This is the previous state bar letter to me before. Oh, that was the previous one. Okay. This is from the state bar as well. Based on the, before we filed these complaints about them reporting Brittany. Okay. Based on our evaluation of the information, we are closing your complaint. It is it. However, whatever, it is misconduct. This is not for me. This is the state bar who right. just told me right there that I'm alleging. It is misconduct for an attorney to commit an act involving moral turpitude, dishonesty, corruption. Here you seem to allege that Ms. Phillips is conspiring with Mr. Amster to attack your therapist's credibility. There are no specific facts or information. Well, wait a minute. After this, we provided what? All of it. Um, I provided emails from my lawyer stating... They're going after her. They want to put her on the stand and question her about her validity of her therapy and who she is. Yeah. They're going to put her on the stand and ask her about who she is. They're going to complain to the bar. Uh, three witnesses, your lawyer, you, my lawyer, a letter from my lawyer stating he witnessed this, mm-hmm. a letter from you stating you witnessed it, and your lawyer was telling me that I'm starting wars by right. complaining that people are coming after me. 
and won't leave me alone and I'm innocent. Right. So I'm starting a war. I'm starting a war by saying by by saying I'm being fucking hunted by these people. All by myself. One man by himself is starting a war against the planet Earth right. for stating these people are fucking want me dead. Right. Does that make sense? No. Okay, no offense, but that was your lawyer. Right. Um, no, who I refused to write a letter and I know. I will not state my opinion about him after talking to him on the camera and seeing him in the courtroom. But whatever. You yeah. can only imagine the thoughts in my head about it. Oh, I... You yeah. know, and my, my, my response is if I walked down the street and I saw him being ass-raped by a hundred fucking guys um, and he's screaming for his life while blood was flying out of his fucking eyes and mouth, I just keep walking and go, don't say anything, you're starting a war. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, yeah. it's, it's equivalent. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. It, it, it is. My version is much more graphic-sounding. Graphic. Right. What do you think's fucking going on here with 100,000 to a million attacks per day worldwide? Exactly. It's now been 19 years. Right. 19 slash 42 years. Okay, of exponential growth of this. Okay, so um, there are no specific facts or information. After this, we provide the facts. Mm -hmm. We provide Everybody. undisputable facts. They're saying we want facts. Mm -hmm. This letter here says we can't do anything with facts. Who are we to do anything with facts? Right. So then what are you supposed to do? Roll over? Just die. We know? don't like you. Die. Okay. In order to investigate the allegations of the attorney misconduct, the state bar needs specific facts. The state bar needs specific facts. Which we provided. If that. proved, would establish a violation of the attorney's ethical duties, conclusions based on speculations and not supported by facts or insufficient to warrant investigation. We provided the fucking facts. The investigation should be closed, like every piece of video I've provided to the police right. and world. But nothing exists. We have determined that your complaint does not present su su uh, sufficient facts to support the investigation. You have blah, blah, blah. So something like you have 60 or 90 days to update us. 90, I think. Okay. Yeah. Right here, I'm going back to the letter after. Oh. State Trial of California, Board of California, whatever. We're going back to the after letter, after we provide the facts. It appears that you are alleging Ms. Phillips' actions were in violation law. Unfortunately, Ms. Phillips is reporting your therapist to the Board of Behavioral Sciences. Does not amount to a violation of ethical duty. Right. Okay, I have two letters here. Right. Here, and it's like... By the same people, the same organization. Completely opposite arguments. And trying to make it look like I'm the bad guy. Right. Like, I think I'm a lawyer in this thing. Right. And here's the thing. Like, yeah, okay, reporting me, sure, that's not unethical in itself, fine. But the fact that she's trying to do that for another reason is sure. to, like... Fuck to silence you. you. Yeah, silence yeah. me, fuck with you, violate your problem, whatever it was. Like, that's the ethical dilemma there. You know what sure. I mean? And anyone can it's see so, it. Exactly. And it's reported on record in court about the subpoena being improperly served. Yeah, I mean, I, you could, you could, if you, if you're an honest lawyer, you can break apart piece by piece this case. Yeah. You have, pro you'd have about a thousand inconsistencies showing that everything's corrupt. Yeah. And that's why I have all the transcripts available and I have, I hire lawyers all across the world to go through all the transcripts and annotate right. the inconsistencies. Of course, most don't want to be honest because they're told don't help Kevin, but, um, that's why I'm forced to fucking collect all this shit because they won't fucking leave me alone. Okay, um, let me just go back to... So that's the state bar and internal affairs, and you can see they're all connected, correct? On yeah. illegal operations. Totally. Highly illegal, okay? The point is that if a cop in Kevin Perlman's life is following you from place to place, shooting bullets at you, that's I'm not fine. allowed to tell anyone. Right. They didn't do anything wrong. You know why? Because I don't trust Kevin. And because he walked out of his house and he didn't shave and he looks like uh, he could have mental illness or be an evil guy. Ridiculous. Or a bad guy. But nothing is based on actual fact. No. Hey, Kevin, when I came in here, uh, the topic of, well, Kevin, you know, did you kill someone? And I said, there's no... Okay, first, why are the cops running around telling the world I killed someone? But most importantly, aside from the, the little fantasies of theirs... Right. Where's the dead body and where's the, the crime evidence. scene? It doesn't there exist. So I, you can't walk up to people and go, you know what, I think you're a bad person. I think you killed someone, so I'm going to hunt you down and kill you. 
You can't do that. Well, Seymour Amster and your lawyer says they can. If a cop's having a bad day and he has some fantasy in his head right. about you, he's let to hunt you down and kill you. Yeah. And in my case, okay. internal affairs, the Bar Association are all supporting through the psychology yeah, community right. these operations. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. Okay, so, um, let's see, what time is it? 12.20. Okay, um, let's see. This is just a quick, I, I think, I don't remember if we talked about Rex Schillenberger on camera. I don't think so. Did we or didn't we? Who was he? Okay, Rex, super fast synopsis. Sean Dinsey is being sued. Actually, L.A. County is being sued. Right. But Sean Dinsey's name is at the top of the list, mm -hmm. trying to force oh. Rex Schillenberger into a mental institution, just like me, mm -hmm. fabricating paperwork, just like he fabricated my uh, police reports, right. and contacted all my neighbors, go after Kevin, I want to lock him away. Right. Uh, with his Adolf Hitler, anyone that isn't perfect needs to be locked in cages or mental institutions. Um, yes. And running for city council, District 12, trying to boast himself politically by hunting down and exterminating the imperfect races or whatever, and then saying, I want a power pedestal yeah. to change the world, like Adolf Hitler. Yep. Okay? Identical. He's also, by the way, bald. I'm not... Mm -hmm. Can't tell you if he's actually a skinhead or associates with a white power in jail or whatever, but mm -hmm. he appears to me from his quote-unquote actions... Everything he's doing is fits KKK, white supremacist, white power, um, yeah. Adolf Hitler, and Adolf Hitler's regime of gang stalking. Yeah. Okay. To the fucking T. Okay. Homeless man. Okay, there's. I have about, on my website, I have all the Rex Schillenberger court documentation. Okay. By the way, it's a federal lawsuit. Is it? It's not a state. It's federal against L.A. County. Yeah. The entire LA County. Wow. And Sean Dinsey's at the top. They're in settlement. Okay. Because LAPD is saying, you know, we can't win this. And I have all the court documentation on my website. Okay. Um, linking with all these articles spewed all, all over on different news sources. This one is from Gizmodo. Homeless man files civil rights suit against police officer who monitored him on Facebook and what is. The Blasting shit about him on Facebook like he's doing to me. Right. Riling up the masses against him. Um, I'm not going to read the whole article, but it does show right here Sean Dinsey's name right at the top. Okay. Um, you can have that. I have other articles I give out, other That's versions crazy. or different news sources. Showing that Sean Dinsey is directly linked to my extermination. Right. And he's being protected by internal affairs. He's being protected by, protected by the Bar Association. Now you should start shitting yourself. Right. Okay? Anyone in L.A. County? By the way, I have tons of police scanner recordings. Possible male mental. Male mental go after oh, that yeah. person. Possible male mental. Uh, that person supposedly tried to commit suicide. Follow them. That's okay, all these things are promoting violence towards the victims. Does that make sense? Mm hmm Okay? Yeah. Hey, this person might have mental illness. I'm following you from place to place. Well, now you're gonna get a little okay. fucking paranoid. Why the fucks are? Why the fuck are the cops exactly. following me from place to place? And they, yep. Okay. That's what they want. Okay. Now, most importantly, like I've said so many times, it's not a crime to be mentally ill. So if you actually suffer, you have OCD, you have whatever, and you're walking down the street, it's not a crime. And if, and some dinsy, which is shitloads of them in the LAPD, yeah. is cruising around. Hey, that guy has OCD. We gotta lock him away. Doesn't even make sense. Okay. Yeah. There's nothing that says that people need to be. There's no correlation between mental illness and cages. Right. Not at all. Or mental institution, which is a form of a cage. Yeah. There's no correlation. The only time someone is actually put in a mental institution is if they can't fucking like lift a fork to their fucking mouth. They're catatonic, like the yeah. movie K Pax or something, and nobody has the money to financially support them. That's the reason. It has nothing to do with exactly. mental illness in itself. Exactly. Okay? Now, there are 72-hour violence holds. 5150. 5150, That's yeah. 72 hours. Okay? It <laughs> can get extended to two weeks max, but that's a sure, severe Sure, provided they're yeah. violent within the institution, correct? 
Yeah, well, if I mean, they're like deemed like even after the seventy-two hours, like a danger to himself or others, then they can be held for longer. Sure, but how yeah. do you deem it if like, if hey, this guy's violent and he's like in the mental institution and he's like sitting there, like, give me another coffee and you know maybe I'll do this crossword no, puzzle. No, it would have to be very straightforward. Like when I get out of here, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna get this knife and I'm gonna kill this person. Okay, well, sure, but now you're yeah. talking proof of. Exactly. That's a what future. it would have to be. Though. Yeah, they'd have to. I mean, that's pretty. Okay, and that's still only two weeks. Right. Okay, so now I have paperwork. So we want to lock you away for ever, forever, for no reason. Mm -hmm. And I even asked this one guy that that got out of jail. Um, don't you think it's strange that half the people I was in jail with, you know, there were people that shot people, there's people that stabbed people, there are people that did this, there's um, heavy drug dealers, there's guys that have made like. A million dollars with crystal meth this isn't that none of them say you need to get treatment for right. after you get out or right just kevin perlman for some cheese dick misdemeanor that didn't even happen ridiculous right yeah okay exactly. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not right? right it doesn't make any sense so and we're gonna get to this it's gonna make some sense in about 20 minutes okay so this is just some older documentation from yuki here from the warner center met complex I think we brought this documentation down to the police station and I just had Which it with me. Which one is it? Uh, last I heard, Officer Dinsey was trying to get evidence oh. of him littering so they can book him in. Wait, now it's littering. So when I was 10 years old, did I litter? And so they're following me from place to place. We're watching you, Perlman, which you've seen that video. Yeah. Because 10, when I was 10 years old, I left the Coke can um, on the school bench. And so I'm a litterer and litterers need to die. Okay. Very ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. And that's how these things all start. Okay. <sighs> Kevin, um, you walked out of your house with a camera. You can't have a camera. You're crazy. And then, now I always have a camera getting proof right. of them hunting me. Understandably, right. Because nobody walks up to someone and says, if you have a camera, I'm gonna kill you. Right. Because if, I, if someone walks up to me and says, you have a camera and we're gonna get together with worldwide support to kill you for getting into photography, how do I get into photography? Right. If someone says, well, Kevin, you committed a lonely crime, so if you ever talk to a girl, you're not allowed to ask women out on dates or go out on dates and you have to be single all your life because you committed the lonely crime. That's so fucked up. So the more women I talk to, the more women are going to hunt me down to have me killed for the lonely crime of asking a girl out. So okay, so how do I go out and have a quote unquote normal life like my mommy says, right. if every person I meet, is the well's poison, that you're not allowed to meet women. Right. Okay, they're catch-22s. Exactly. And they're designed to make you ins look insane and eradicate you. Yeah. Because nobody says this shit. Right? Exactly. Okay. No. So everything is being, it's like I said before, my mom babbling, what came first? We don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. She came first with her paranoid delusional thoughts. Yeah. And she's welcome to her paranoid delusional thoughts provided right. they stay within her little exactly. world of insanity and she's not broadcasting out to planetary scale. My son's a violent paranoid schizo and everyone rid him the world. Right. And they go, Kevin, why don't you meet women? Oh, gee, I wonder. Exactly. <laughs> right? exactly. Why are you single at 48? Gee, I wonder. Right. So you have a problem because you're single and you're a sociopath? No, I have a problem because some sicko's blasting to the world. Right. I committed 100,000 crimes and not one exists. Or the crimes are you tapped your foot by a girl, so we're going to hunt you with worldwide support. And it's your fault because you're annoying. That does Doesn't make any sense. No, not at right? all. Right? They keep... Like the internal affairs, they keep curving the argument to things that don't make sense. The argument isn't, did Kevin commit 100,000 crimes no. of farting, yawning, and um, burping. burping. How and why is the world being fed this information illegally? Right. That's the argument. Right. That's the, yeah, exactly. Okay, that's and question. that's never talked about. It's your imagining, you're crazy. Right. Okay, so this is the Yuki working with the Metro Warner Center Met. We're going to rid Kevin of the world. Once again, I don't fucking know this person. Mm. Every person I've had interactions with for 19 years at the Warner Center Met or my complex has ended in, we're going to hunt you and kill you. For no reason, example, um, this week alone, taking walks. I go out of my place, I walk. Now I'm surrounded by the Warner Center Met. Right. So I take a walk down the end of the cul-de-sac. I come back two times. Good-looking women timed it to come out. Uh, one time smoking a cigarette, and I think I joked with her like, you know, they tell me that smoking cigarettes are illegal, and she kind of laughed. <laughs> and then, um, and I didn't want to take the time to engage in flirting or anything, because I know the outcome. Mm -hmm. And the next day, a girl in black and white kind of did the same thing. And after this, groups of pickups 
which I talk in my camera stating, you're now going to see groups of pickups park their cars here in large groups, hinting about picking up on women with their idea of reference schizo tactics. And yet, once again, not only pickups, but the other tactics ramp up. Now, their argument is that Kevin's supposedly harassing women. Ridiculous. And is lonely and won't leave women alone and this and that. But the reality situation for 42 years, just like this one, is I simply stepped out of my house and took a walk. Whether I talked to this girl, whether I didn't talk to the girl, the same events would occur. The pickups would come out right. to try to send me guilt schizo messages. Then go, Kevin's crazy and needs to be locked away. And look what he did to all these people. Correct? Ridiculous. Yeah. Okay. And then you have the people coming online, like the porn stars pretending they're jealous and this and that, and harassing me and all the weird shit. And this is worldwide, not just porn stars. And then... You're looking, going, how are how is all this information connected and why are they doing these things? Right. Once again, this Yuki person is just another random person, person I don't know, taking turns to have me executed. Right. Okay. Um, showing that she's linked to Dinsey. And then we have the Michael Huntley. Uh, multiple statements by Michael Huntley. I went to the therapist and Kevin's crazy and needs to be locked away. Oh my gosh. Showing that, that Michael Huntley at 29 in my office, telling me that I'm a dead man with the government while walking around singing, World of Paranoia. Have a good life now. I've given you enough rope to hang yourself with. The Crocodile Dundee, I tell the world everything. Mm -hmm. Comments. Is th changes his story right. to I'm crazy, I saw a psychiatrist in Kevin's behalf, See, and he needs to be rid of the world. Right. Showing he has something to hide. And then finally, Mike's t changing his tune here. Kevin's a troll. So which is it? Am I a crazy delusional or am I a, a troll A troll because I tapped my foot by Aubrey Fisher and she has the right to hunt me down with worldwide groups to have me killed, That's which so cool. actually links into my brother trying to cover up his physical abuse when I was a child, which I'm not going to say was the worst in the world, but, but I find out he actually had motive behind it right. to try to get reactions with the police and government to say I'm a violent paranoid schizo. Right. Okay. And I go into all sorts of stories. I don't have time to now. Okay. So now, I don't know, this is just older paperwork, whatever. This was Starbucks paying yeah, off that... um, John Paul Naranjo, security guard who didn't even work for Starbucks. They just sort of called in people to right. beat me up from Boyd's and Associated Security. This is his ID badge, blah, blah, blah. Luckily, it fell on the ground after I stopped him from bashing mm, my skull in. And that. prosecutor Crean T. Phillips is really angry that I stopped. Uh, John Paul Nerano here from killing me or hospitalizing me with brain concussions uh, with seven blows to the head. The first one starting from behind from because behind. I got photos of the defaming Starbucks lies on paper. Okay, so I'm the bad guy because I have proof of their crimes and I don't have a right to defend myself. Jesus, you were walking away and he was so, I mean, okay, uh, I did throw some water on him, but that's harmless. You know what I'm saying? It's water. It's I had a guy right. spit in my face from a cigar shop for standing up to his harassments, and I didn't punch him in the head seven times or no. one time. No. I just got him on video doing it. But <laughs> but um, yeah. the point is that everything that's going on, don't you see these psychotic behaviors directed at me? Yes. And everything is me just being a really good guy. Right. And I'm in the middle of this thing, and I keep going, look, you've been lied to. You're not allowed to tell anyone or we kill you. Right. Well, how am I supposed to react? And yet, they had to fabricate the fucking paperwork. Dinsey had to fabricate the battery charges when I was fucking battered. Right. That's such a And they had to pay off Terrence Scroggins to try to falsify and turn things around on right. me. So, okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I think I'm getting towards closer towards the end of the paperwork. What am I? Okay. Once again, you're going to get your kicks. Pull up the Hemi picture. Mm -hmm. This is just a quick... Because in the courtroom, they're trying to make me look like a crazy person who never had friends and is a recluse. Right. Um, they refused to talk. When she was bringing in circumstantial evidence, Seymour Amster refused to counter argument right. who I really am and I had my own company when this started. Yeah. Trying to make me look like a drug dealer and all these things with these people. Right. To cover up everything. Um, okay, so this is my actual blown Hemi that so I bought. Cool. It started as a 454 and Pineapple Joe did a bait and switch and said I have this blown Hemi out of a front engine dragster. Uh, Kellogg crank, Howard's aluminum uh, rods, Aries blower pistons, roller rocker motor, um, 
I think eight to compression, eight to eight seventy one Hampton supercharger was going to be detuned for the street. Whatever had a dry sump oil pan that needed to be taken off. Okay, so I do know my car shit. I'm not. Yeah. You want to talk about cars and compression ratios and blowers and forged piston versus non forged pistons, comp um, normal camshafts versus roller camshafts, flowing heads, um, stick shifts versus automatic. Uh, shift kits versus normal automatic, whatever. You want to talk about all that shit? Hey, I'm not a fraudster, okay? Right. I can fucking gab and gab and gab for hours about shit that you have, most people have no comprehension about, especially me being around the hot rod era with right. uh, Los Angeles County Raceway and NHRA, which is now pretty much gone, mm -hmm. okay? So when these little rice burner people sit there running around, they're fucking 10 years old. Like Kevin doesn't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. Right. Yeah, right. That's you shit. come into my fucking world instead of talking the fucking shadows and we'll exactly. talk about fucking cars. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You to okay. build them. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I can recall being nice for Greg Waugh who did all this shit to me as we're finding out. Yeah. And I helped, I rebuilt his fucking engine for him. I pulled his fucking engine out of his 68 Camaro in my fucking garage and rebuilt the thing from scratch and dropped the fucking in the car for him. Shit, I could have charged him $4,000. Yeah, you could have. Okay, I'm a horrible monster and an asshole. You know why I'm a horrible monster and an asshole? Um, because one part of the chrome had a little piece of dirt on it and it didn't glimmer right. Right. <laughs> right? I mean, that's Ridiculous. my life. That's the ir the irony of my life, right? right. Doesn't make any fucking no, sense. Zero. Okay, so, so because I did all those things for Greg Raw, I'm too nice and need to be locked in a mental institute. Who fucking knows, right? It doesn't even make sense. Yeah, yeah it doesn't make exactly. sense. No. It's okay, so this is just kind of an overview of my childhood that they're trying to pretend they're didn't cool. exist. Right. Okay, Kevin's exactly. an introvert. He's beating up black women. He's a white supremacist. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, whatever. None of it exists. Okay, so you're going to laugh. Look at the next picture. Okay, so this is out of my yearbook. I was looking through. Is this you? Yeah, I was no laughing way. my ass off. Okay, so did I show... Yeah, I showed, I showed the Hemi, whatever. So... The car, I was going to detune it and put it in a Barracuda, 1970 Barracuda, which we saw kind of follow me at the right. courthouse. Right. I okay. remember that. And we saw multiple classics with strangers working on it. Yeah. Okay, so this is just, don't laugh, this is 1988 or something. And That's I was a string awesome. bean. Um, this is me and the wrestling team. Are you in the, this one? Uh, yeah. There. That's awesome. Right. And I was laughing because I didn't even really realize I was in the year. Like I was looking really? this week going, ah, oh, that's me. What the fuck? That's awesome. Okay. Um, and then the next page is even funnier. I started off in ninth grade wrestling at 98 pounds. Really? And then oh, by wow. 11th grade, I worked out. So I got huge. Not huge, huge, but huge. Yeah. And then they made me team captain, but I sucked. So really? within like, after the first match, they replaced me with a guy. I think his name's like, everyone called him T-Bone. I can't remember his name. Um... That's and crazy. um so whatever my string bean in the middle yeah yeah in the middle come on it looks like how me old right are you? 16, yeah 16, 16 to 18. that's awesome okay. i didn't know you wrestled yeah i wrestled my brother was a nerd and i was like the jockish car builder that's awesome and then we had like kind of a, not a full role reversal but i got into computer graphics right and my brother was never into graphics he was into like bulletin board service and okay. nerdy things like he set it up so people could call in to what he called the warrior's castle bbs <laughs> and things like that right? okay. okay so i was more artsy computery yeah creative. you know that's why i joke around i'm a nerdist in this and that. Like, a nerdist oh, yeah half artist half that. nerd because when i went to college i took a uh, computer science with a split major mm -hmm. of uh bfa bachelor of fine arts Oops, shit, to sorry. get into 3d animation and visual Thank effects you. So back then, the 3D animation was a lot more technical. Mm -hmm. So I That's joke cool. around. They're just well, jokes. I love that. They're harmless That's jokes. Great. Why people follow me? And then I made a joke. I'm like a hybrid. So people <laughs> follow me around in hybrids all day and trying to provoke me in anger because I make that joke. Well, who fucking cares? Exactly. Okay, That's it doesn't make sense. Joke. Exactly. Yeah. And the things like I quote lines from Heartbreak Ridge, like "That's the mother of all fuck ups." Or <laughs> uh, what was the other ones? Um, so you can't have a sense oh, of humor. Oh, clusterfuck! I'm not allowed to have Cluster a sense of humor. Fuck. And they'll say. Oh, well, you that's a movie theft. You stole the line from the movie, so you're a thief. Well, then half of the world... Correct, or no, more than half. Yeah, exactly. 90%, right? We're all, right? They're all thieves, too. Okay, so anyways, this is... You get the point. I love I'm it. I'm not it's who they awesome. say I am to the world. No. Okay, now finally, I'm not trying to brag because I didn't really know 
um, Tracy, wait, Erica Peacock that well. And there is a whole subset of things that were done with the TV show Studs in the 90s. Sort of, I think, directed at me. And Brian Longbottom was trying to make it look like I was trying to copy her by asking me if I, if I wanted to be on the show Studs, showing these linked events. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go into all that sidetrack, but this is on high school Tracy Peacock, cheerleader. I'm not bragging here, <laughs> but cheerleader Tracy Peacock. Um, in the comments, well, you know, they sign the back of the yearbook, whatever. <laughs> and I'm just trying to show that I wasn't this. And vodka burgers, Trans Am and vodka burgers. Yeah. Kevin, yeah. I've really enjoyed getting your to beard. know you over the years. I will never forget your parties, especially New Year's Eve and your Trans Am and vodka burgers. Oh, and how could I forget your beard? Good luck. Keep in touch. Blah, blah, oh, blah. Oh, kid means keep in touch. I was wondering. Yeah, kid. Keep in touch. I've it doesn't mean kid from Knight Rider. It means... No, keep in touch. I was wondering oh, what yeah. it st stood for. Kit. You don't, you've never seen Kit? Mm-mm. Geez. I, don't know. I know. Okay. I don't know. Well, I, I had a Fu Manchu Did for like you? a month or something. That's so. awesome. Okay. So anyways. Um, okay. So no. The point is I wasn't this like, like Waldo in the... You know the music video, Hot for Teacher, Waldo? Or, yeah. No. No. <laughs> I robbed my pencil. Okay, that wasn't me, okay? No, that, that's, not at all. We got to put things in a reality perspective when the judicial system is trying to drag my name through the mud. Right. About it disguised this crazy, out of control monster who's a white supremacist and killing black people in high school. And he uh, chopped the black girl's ho head off when he was eight at Sunny Skies Day Camp. None of it fucking exists. No. The only thing that happens is I kiss the black girl and someone wants me dead for it with worldwide support. Right, which is. Absurd. At eight years old. And then people try to play this game. Oh, you kissed an eight year old? No. When I was eight years I old. I was eight years old and she was eight years old. And they play these little twists on words right. to Just angrily make me look like a bad person. Okay. Now we're getting into fucking something really important. This is beyond any level important. Okay. Instantly I get out of jail. They're defaming my name, correct? They're dragging my name through the mud. I get out of jail. I just found this. I didn't show you this yet, I don't think. Gen2020.com. Jennifer per Pilchick Perlman, my sister-in-law. Really? Is running for United States Congress in Florida. Shut up. Oh, okay. This is her? This is your... Someone needs to fucking explain this one to me. Okay, now we got uh. the bipolar house mother telling her son Reese to whistle at me to try to make it look like I beat up kids when Reese was like eight years old or younger. Jeez. We have all the linked events with my brother and Jen, ha Jen Pilchik, not Jen Hess, not Jen Yang. Gee, my brother's so been around a lot gems. of Jens and a lot of Jens have been sent after me to have me fucking killed. That's interesting. That's okay. insane. Jen Pilchik here. Now remember the court reporter, her father Jay Pilchik is a court reporter in Florida. Oh, okay. And we have Debbie Woolman court reporter purchasing the property Right. In Van Nuys Courthouse, Room 101, never lived in it. Most likely has audio surveillance in it that I can't prove, but I pissed them off right. by putting an MP3 player on <laughs> like 0.1 decibel. You couldn't even hear it, mm -hmm. but if there's audio surveillance, It'll it's it going crazy. Oh, that's awesome. And people were running around saying I'm blasting music when I'm not. Oh my god! Do you see the? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. So. Gee, I mean, let's have some common sense here. Right. You don't think these are connected? Exactly. Nobody else can hear that quote unquote music, but it's them. And, and you're but, but more importantly, thing. Jay Pilchik. Yeah, all connected. Who's a court reporter to Van Nuys Courthouse to police officers paid off to exterminate me. It's you can't connect crazy. that? Richard Barnwell couldn't connect it. He started yelling at me about my plate and I'm a dead man and blah, 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 and this and that because saying, oh, Kevin, you need to provide proof. That Debbie Woolman lives adjoining your wall. I did. I sent you the fucking screenshot of the address and her name on it and her on the dockets. Right. No, you need to provide me the proof. Well, of what? Same thing like internal affairs here. I provided you the fucking proof. What over and fucking want? over. And then I walk into Van Nuys or uh, LAPD with video footage of me being attacked. Right. That's not proof. Exactly. The hundreds of thousands of pieces of paperwork I have. How much more? And 25 terabytes of video. How much more proof do you need? Exactly. Nothing. Correct. It's ridiculous. It doesn't matter. I could show LAPD or anyone a video of some guy walking up with a machete, chopping off my mm -hmm. arms and legs, and the police would say it didn't happen. Right. Or it's your fault. And I have no proof. Right. On video. Or it's my fault because I yawned in public. Right. Yeah. Okay. 
So, and you witnessed that in Van Nuys' police station. You yeah, witnessed his comments. It's, he kept hinting that I pissed someone off. Yeah, he did. He kept saying, like, well, yeah. Like so, that, if someone doesn't like you and they get pissed off, they're allowed to kill you? No. You're just not allowed to piss people off? Right. How right. do you walk through life not pissing someone off? You don't. Correct. You don't. Everyone's mad about something. Exactly. People are mad because they don't I like this shirt. shirt. They, they don't like this shirt because... Coffee Bean is irate about the shirt. You know why? I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking loon. loon. I need to be locked up. With, obviously, me on it with a tinfoil hat. Do you know why Coffee Bean is pissed off about this shirt? Coffee Come Bean? on, you got to figure this one out. Okay. I mean, a lot of people are, but Coffee Bean is even more pissed off. Do you know why? Why? Because it, it discredits their bullshit lies that I'm crazy and suffer from mental illness. Oh. <laughs> if I was crazy, I wouldn't know and I wouldn't be making these shirts. Exactly. Okay. Touché. Just like the them saying I masturbate in the bathroom and me making a joke shirt saying oh, we were joking about coffee bean having spy cameras in the bathroom because nobody walks up to people saying oh, I know you masturbate in the bathroom. No. And how would you know that in the first place? Exactly. You know? Unless they have spy cameras exactly. in the bathroom. And what if I did need it to go fucking wank in the bathroom even though I didn't? Right. Then it's nobody's It's business. so harmless anyways. Right. So what that says is we're following around trying to get shit to use against you, correct? Right. Exactly. Okay, that has always been the case since five years old. Lorena Escobar's comments. It's what you're doing in the privacy of your own home. So is Lorena what Escobar? What does that mean? She's accusing me of like building bombs and things like that. Who knows? Right. Okay, she's a piece of shit. She's paid off to have me killed at 16 right. by my father. Okay, no one runs around violating people's privacy going, I know you're doing something illegal in your house and then no. hunting them down to have them killed saying you know what you did. No. It's okay. No, that doesn't happen. Okay, then Crazy. we have the, we want search warrants and we want this. See more answer, trying to get information from you that I'm doing something illegal. Right. Which was like... Uh, the whole gun thing. things, the knives things. It just goes from thing to thing. Right. Ridiculous. On an hourly changing basis. The point is that some piece of shit following around going, I know you're up to something in your own home and I'm going to rid you of the world and you're a, you're a criminal. Well, that's what we call obsession. Hate, yeah. rage, obsession, stalking. And how, yeah, they shouldn't know anything. But she's okay anything. because because she's allowed to say it. And I'm not allowed to have a counter argument, remember? It's You're not bullshit. allowed to defend yourself. Right. So Lorraine Escobar is allowed to be paid off to say, I think Kevin has dead bodies in his house and hunt Kevin down and kill him. Based on zero fact, evidence, proofs, or right. anything. There's no evidence of anything like that. And then trying to paying off people like Rody Morales to try to get trash bags. Well, marijuana in my house at 29. Right. And those cover up, and it just goes from thing to thing. It's just insane. Okay, so back to the point. Jen Pilchick, 2020 Congress. Wait, didn't I get out January 11? Mm-hmm. I get out January 11th of jail. Well, they got their conviction. They got their sentence. They got on paper. Most importantly, like I told you, they got on paper that Kevin right. suffers is crazy and suffers mental illness and needs treatment. And we just stated that all the people actually committed real crimes. Right. They're not being labeled as mentally ill. And like you said in the beginning, like having mental illness is not a crime in the first place. Correct. So, so what's going on? Isn't that a, a, a sane, rational person is going to ask, what the fuck's going on here, right? Yeah. Something, something stinks. Uh, Ron Perlman, the armpits stink here. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, especially paying off Shanna Brian Seva. The Russian girl to stalk me with so many other people, like Val Morozo of another Russian. Okay, so... This, she's a lawyer? Yeah, she's a lawyer, and ironically, when she did law before, she worked for like an HOA type of, we fight against really? corrupt HOAs. Wait a minute, isn't all this shit coming also from my HOA? Yeah. And Terrence Scroggins was on my HOA board at the time? That's crazy. Okay, so now we have another connected link. Jeez. Now, she... she retired pretty much now i i don't hang out with them i know jack shit about them mm -hmm. i don't want to know anything about them the psychotic murderers and my brother is on his agenda since i was five to lock me in a mental institution out of his hate rage and jealousy right. and he's desperately trying to cover up his past because he wants to look like a good urologist like a non-psychotic murderer type of person right and so when my brother goes off with his friends doing all this road rage shit that's why he's telling the world it was kevin because he wants a life for himself, but he fucked up in the past, so he and he realized him. at one point I might be out dating a girl, and she says, well, Kevin, what was your childhood like? Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, Jesus. there was some crazy shit happening around me. Well, Kevin can't talk, because i got to look like a okay. good urologist, and I'm going to follow him around, spying on him, and make sure that he never talks. That's so fucked up. 
right? Beyond fucked up. Okay, so you understand that my brother has insane amounts of motive yeah. to silence me. And I never would have thought about this shit if he wasn't no. pinning it all on me. Right. Okay. You guys both could have had good lives if even if, if he, he wasn't was. doing what he was doing. Yes. Correct. Not me. Him. Exactly. He and his friends. Putting Ike Swerve and hit people at random no, on his license yeah. plates and doing all this weird crazy shit on the roads. And then sending Mike Huntley after me at 14 to have me killed. Jesus. Okay. So None of this would be happening if you just fucking live his own life without his hate, rage, and obsession. Exactly. Okay, it's not my fault if I turn 29, Mike Huntley's like, you're a fucking dead man because no, you're not. figuring out what we're doing in your life. Right. It's, it's not, not my fucking fault. fault. No, you didn't ask for Okay, anything. with a father, you're not allowed to defend yourself because I hate your fucking guts. Okay? No. Jason's the good, evil, murderer, child, and I'm the bad, kind, good, person. kind, caring person. Okay, I'm so, um, <laughs> right? It's insane. Okay. Um, so you can see that all these events are connected. Now, without going too deep, you can see the motive or relationship between Jen Pilchick saying, Kevin's talking. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do about it, right? Because yeah. I want to protect my man. Oh, I want my man to make money. I want my man to support my kid. By the way, she, she after she had her first kid, she retired and... She was like, I think like a 10 year stay home oh, really? bipolar mom who she was too, they, drives she everyone was crazy. Too I don't even know how she's in politics. I don't know either. Uh, I know she went to college. She's a lawyer. She does a lot of rallying political shit. Uh, she's completely outspoken, but I think fairly radical liberal. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I was told by my mother recently she did some like law documents for some of the political... Okay. Uh, what's the socialist Bernie Madoff? Or, I don't Bernie know. Sanders? Not Bernie Madoff. Bernie Sanders. Sorry. Same thing. No. Okay. Um, Sanders. So she, I think, has probably socialistic, mm. we own you type of mentality. Probably. Um, I can't tell you. I haven't talked to them in years. But what I can tell you is it what you're about to see next here. Did you? Okay. Did Gen you read this? Which? No, probably not. On the bottom, she said that she is works with the probation station to help people on probation as they transition out of the system. And that's just... Yeah, she, I think somewhere she mentioned that she works with some criminal defense lawyers yeah. things as well. And don't you see now mm -hmm. a connection between the criminal defense lawyers mm -hmm. refusing to help me? Yeah. Okay. okay. Now this isn't a one person thing. It also goes through Michael Bialis, lawyer Michael Bialis sent after me with mm -hmm. Victoria Walker. But they're all connected behind the scenes. Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um... So you have two nephews then? Yeah, Reese and... And I'm now thinking that my brother probably named Reese Reese to try to send me schizo messages from the movie Terminator. It's a long story. And I'm totally... I might be far off on that theory here, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't put it past him <coughs> by the types of schizo, the, the, right. the depths, the lengths that they're taking this turn Kevin in to make Kevin look like a violent paranoid right. skit, so I wouldn't put it past the fact that he named his kid that to try to get at me or something like that. Right. Okay? Uh, I'm not saying he did. I'm saying I wouldn't... In my mind, there's a possibility yeah. because the things... I, the endless things I've seen from his sick, demented personality and behaviors with everyone helping him right. is unfucking heard of. It's unprecedented. Exactly. Okay, so what is he... It comes down to what is he capable of? Okay. So... Um, Let's get to a 2017, I think, poor uh, blog post of, of Jennifer Pilchick, Perlman, right before the arrests. I haven't really spent the time to look at the dates and things. Hmm. What, can you see the date? Um, June 14, 2017. Okay, so right around, I don't remember exactly when the arrests were, but obviously... This is all connected, correct? I mean, do you have any mm -hmm. doubt that these things no. are random events? They're connected, correct? Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. And and do you think that Jen Pilchick, like Mike Huntley, thinks I'm a crazy man that needs to be locked away, or do you think that she might have something to hide here? Oh, clearly. She's hiding something. Okay. Yeah. Now, let's read Jen Pilchick's post to someone in the world mm -hmm. about Kevin Berlman. Kevin is my brother-in-law. Yes, he's mentally ill. How the fuck does she, is she? Is she a psychiatrist? Right. No. Does she have the credentials like Mike Huntley for mental illness labels? Right. Okay. So now you already know. Just by the first half of the sentence, 
that they're throwing labels on me to justify their behaviors. Yeah, exactly. That's a first state. Okay. Basis. And we've had this discussion before. Well, what is mental illness? Because I can say, um, that person over there eats steak twice a month, and I feel that they're they suffer from mental illness. Can you repeat that? I'm sorry. I, I feel that that person over there eats steak twice a month, twice <laughs> a month. So I feel that that's mental illness. No, that's bullshit. Right? Just like or steak that. that guy. I'm just trying to think of situations here. That guy he opens his bag upside down, so he must sure, yeah, he right. must he must suffer right. mental illness. Maybe you just like I mean, who, no, right? I mean, first of all, we could we could analyze this for the next hundred years. Not only do all sorts of people, every person has all sorts of patterns or intricacies. Everybody has um, something going on. It's just a thing. Is, they're not mental illnesses, right? Exactly. Or or technically, you could label everything a mental illness, right? So my point is that people don't, people aren't generally crazy hunters or mental illness hunters. That's the point I'm getting. See that guy, he's crazy, kill him. See that guy, they're mentally ill, kill him. See that guy, this guy no. needs to lock away, he's crazy. That guy's crazy. I've never heard of anything like that. Right. Until no. I noticed what was being done to my life. Yeah, right. I've never, oh, but for Dr. Ronald Pearl, Dr. Ronald Barry Perlman says, Kevin, you think differently and you see different things differently in the world. Yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Right. I mean, if that is, is a that? manipulating, right, exactly. murdering, st murderer statement, I don't know what is. The point is that uh, d disinformation, brainwashing statement. I have never, on the news or anywhere, seen crazy hunters no. or mental illness hunters. No. Okay. That would be illegal. Correct. Highly illegal. Fair enough. Uh, on the same thing as Jew killers or uh, people that hate black people or slave owners or whatever. All illegal. They're all bigoted, racist behaviors. Yeah. Okay, so these mental illness hunters, I'm going to call them. Yeah. Jen Pilchik says, I suffer from mental illness because I have a, an opinion about the things being done to me that she doesn't believe. Right. Is that what this is up here above what she said? What? Like, why Read doesn't it. anybody know who Kevin Perlman is? And then that, is it like, I don't know what came before her statement. Where does it say that? Very top. In oh, the, the header. Yeah. Um, look, I can walk out to your parking lot. Right. I'll have a guy walk up and say something like, you better not talk or I'll kill you. Right. And they'll say, I don't know who you are. Right. Okay. Which makes so, no sense. Okay. And this happens from person, this type of thing happens from person to person to me worldwide. And shitloads of it are on, is on video. Mm -hmm. So what's to say that this person writing this topic isn't just making up a lie trying to make me look crazy? Right. Exactly. Okay. That's like... Look, this okay. Is now, instantly, the return response is the delusion of grandeur. Mm -hmm. Kevin thinks he's something special, and Kevin Jesus. thinks he's um, the king of Lionville. I don't fucking know. Right. And it's They're just pulling shit out their ass. Exactly. Okay, the point is, and this is coming from a lawyer who's supposed to know about things like hearsay. Right. Well, she's the biggest supporter of hearsay. Right. She's no, a corrupt piece bullshit. of shit. And that's what okay. you wrote, yeah. Um, Kevin my, is my brother-in-law. Yes, he's mentally ill. He has written off our entire family thinking we're all out to get him. My husband hasn't spoken to his brother in seven years, and my mother-in-law, she spelled that wrong, <laughs> does the best she can to prevent him from being homeless. We're aware of his antics and that he must be deemed, quote-unquote, the crazy guy in Woodland Hills. Okay, must that be. Mean? That is the most important sentence I highlighted in red here. Right. What? What is I, okay, I, I want you to take the time here and not fly past this. I want to break apart this entire paragraph. Yeah. Now, first, I'm going to state my response here to whoever she's talking about is Jennifer Pilchik is completely full of shit. She's protecting yeah. Jason Perlman because he, he, tried, he went after Gregoire with a crowbar and I stopped him and blah, 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 or whatever. Right. Okay, but I'm crazy. Okay, first, first, I'm crazy. Was Jen Pilchik around my life when no. I was 16? No. Okay, so how can she have the audacity to tell me that I'm lying about the incident with Jason Perlman and Gregoire? Now we have Gregoire's recordings yeah. showing that it happened. Gregoire states on the phone, Greg, remember when we were 16 and Jason went off? Yeah, you know, but I don't want to talk about that. Confessing right. it did happen. Exactly. But Jen Pilchik states, in a situation she was never at with her hearsay that I'm crazy and it never happened indirectly. See, it's so fucked up. It, 
indirectly showing she's a liar. Yes. Correct? Showing she is lying in this paragraph. Exactly. I have proof. I have fact. I have proof. I have recordings. I have Greg Wall's statements. Right. It did happen. I have fact. I have proof. I have textual statements saying, Jen Pilchik saying, in a situation she was never at, just like my mother does over and over, mm -hmm. that it didn't happen and she wasn't there. Right. She didn't even exist. He didn't even meet her until he was, uh, who knows, 22 in college or something. I don't fucking know. Right. And there's all sorts of angles she was working on me after she graduated Boulder, Colorado, trying to make it look like I was copying her in the house she lived in, all sorts of weird shit like this, too, showing she has motive to try to make me look crazy. Right. Okay? Right. No. And I can rattle off all sorts of shit. So, and the way she said this, too. Like, so, like, I know for fact. Right, and it's like, uh, and he must be deemed. Is she okay, saying, that, like, he needs to be deemed the crazy guy, or is she saying that the community... Have no, she is that. saying that they need to destroy my name. Right. And Dean. Okay, I'm that so sentence. Well, look at the sentence. You can't, you can't, there is no gray in the sentence. We are aware of his antics. Brittany, you're crazy and you need to be killed. Brittany, you're crazy you need to be locked in a cage. Brittany, you're this you're not. Yeah, the way I she need to be deemed crazy, crazy. Well, how do you deem someone crazy? You got to get it on paper, right? Yes. So wouldn't paying off people in the judicial system through your court reporter father like Sean Dincy, mm -hmm. who fabricates police reports, no lawyer, no criminal defense lawyer mm -hmm. will help you, uh, try, forcing you to take the stand or trying to trick you into take the stand mm -hmm. while you're being tortured to death, not thinking straight, or he's doing trick questions saying, this is what I'm going to ask you on the stand, and then, and then lies to you and gets you up on the stand and fucks you over. Okay? So fucked up. Okay, think about it. And Nothing's then, connected then, here. This is just random events. You'd have to be fucking a... You have to be crazy loon... To say that nothing's connected here. Yeah, you'd have to be blind. Okay. Like, it must be deemed. Like, and Kevin Perlman must do. be deemed. Now, yeah. Okay, now we want to talk about her statement about legality. Legal. Right. Why is she talking about legality? What's her statement? Can you see what the statement here is? Unfortunately, unfortunately there's nothing his family can do legally. Are you if about you say something negative about me, I'm going to lock you away. That's the statement. That's the, the not direct statement, the reading between the lines here. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing that they can do. Kevin daily. says Jason did this, and Kevin says that Mike Huntley was sent after him, and this and that. Kevin suffers from mental illness, and we need to lock him away and put on paper that he's crazy. Right. That's well, like exactly... Sorry, I just don't know why my... I just want to make sure okay. it's not my kids. Okay. Okay. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. So it's all black and white. Yeah. There's no there's no there's no disputing any of this. It's proof, it's on paper, it's exactly. defamation, it's libel, it's slander, uh, there's confessions of crimes. Yeah. There's confessions of crimes right here. We're going to deem Kevin crazy. This is a criminal act. We're going to deem Kevin crazy. Yeah. And they executed and they followed it through. They paid off LAPD, they paid off Dinsey, who's being sued, doing it to other people as well because they found the guy right. that is a Nazi to pay off. And um, the motives there, Kevin knows something that we don't want him talking. The entire crime is in this fucking statement right here. Okay, now, what did I write? Proof of motive, why not just leave the crazy guy alone? Hey, I'm crazy. I have a different opinion. I think that Jason's a horrible monster. Right. Why am I not allowed to have this opinion? Exactly, you are. Correct. So, so now we're taking away freedom of speech your, and thought and opinion. You're not allowed to say, I don't like this guy, or we kill you. Right. That's You're not allowed to say this guy who I tried to walk away from is actively hunting me, or we kill you. Right. You're not allowed to go to a therapist. How many death threats? I got Jason Schwetz death threats here. I got death threats at Starbucks down there that I better not talk or tell you. It's bullshit. Okay. You can't do anything, basically. Correct. So I'm, I'm committing a crime by defending myself verbally and saying these people won't fucking leave me alone. Right. And I'm not allowed to have a thought in my head that's negative about Jason or he's going to kill me with his wife. That's like... Or lock me in a mental institution. Right. Okay. So don't you see a problem with... Yes. Isn't that like Adolf Hitler? You don't read books. You don't think for yourself. You do what I tell you. I'm a or good guy. Really if you say I'm a bad guy, I kill you. Yeah. 
Okay, there you, you fucking go. Exactly. Now this person is running for oh, what? A, and not letting me walk away. That's important. I'm, I'm, he's yeah. on the other. He's on the west coast, Florida. Yeah. They're still hunting me with these random people. Okay, must be deemed showing motives and agenda to eradicate my existence. Right. It's so. Funny. I'm not going after him. Am I paying off people to follow around saying you don't talk or I kill you and um, falsely arrest you and do? I'm just stating this guy won't fucking leave me alone. Exactly. He keeps. I keep getting death threats. Uh, he keeps pinning all this shit on me. His wife's going. I'm mentally ill, so I need to die. Okay. Well, what if I am mentally ill? Why do I need to die or be locked you, away? You don't. Can I have my crazy beliefs? Yes. Can I? Can I believe that Xenu the alien exists? Yes. And not be hunted and locked in cages. Yes. I mean, I've seen people down in LA uh, walk up to my guard going <laughs> in some kind of fucking alien language going, well, they're not going after him. I know. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. right. And, that, <laughs> and that's the case with somebody who could maybe use some help. Okay? And they're not yeah. going after them. Yeah. So it's like, but I have something to say to defend myself against my brother's anger and rage. Mm -hmm. who's clearly snapped when he was bit by Oppo. Right. And... Um, and, and the irony is that he actually had a really good life and I always had a shitty life and he's still jealous of me. That's how sick he is. Yeah. Okay. And, um, yeah. and, um, the point is what she's saying is legally she doesn't like the fa people that speak against her and have opposing arguments. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. She's running for Congress. That's scary. Well, when you run for a political position, you have all sorts of people say... I don't like this person, and yeah. I found out this, and I found out that. That's a good point. And is she going to go after each person that says I don't like her right. and try to deem them as crazy and lock them in cages? That's a good question. Correct? Right. Okay. Exactly. So, obviously, I my, she's not, but my life is in danger from her. The cops aren't going to do anything. I can't tell you why. She's not in Congress yet. Um... This is the most important fact. What does Congress and Senate do? Congress what now? What do you know what Congress and Senate does? In Senate? What's that? Senate. Mean? Oh, Senate. Like a senator, like Senate? Makes, yeah, they make the laws. and. Yeah, Senate, they pass right? bills, make laws. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I just put pieces together. Correct. Holy shit. That Miss, terrifying. Miss, it's not, it's not legal to eradicate someone who has something negative to say about me or my husband. Um, states the legality that we need to de deem Kevin as crazy and we can't do anything about oh my God. Kevin talking about the things we did to his life Holy shit. while I'm actively hunted by a worldwide fucking campaign because of what they're doing. So I have no choice because they won't leave me alone. Because wow. like I said, how many people on video just driving here from Woodland Hills do I have to try to torture and kill me with mental illness tactics yeah. and verbal harassments and this and that? Over 500 just coming here. Jeez. But I'm not allowed to say, look what's being done to me. I just need to just quietly die and accept my death. No. Or I need to be deemed, quote unquote, deemed crazy and laws need to be passed to lock me in cages or s mental institutions See, that's because terrible. my brother's doing all this shit out of his hate and rage for me starting at five years old. Right. And my father's actually telling him to do it. That's the scariest part. It's Okay, think about that. Beyond. Think about that. Think of the ramifications here. Remember, the, the, my entire argument is about the ramifications and yes. how high this goes up to the top of the chain. And I've been to the White House of the United States of America with policeabuse.com watching right. White House security trying to silence me and intimidate me right. for being a tourist and walking, doing nothing crazy. For doing just nothing. Walking okay. with the other tourists. Right. It's bullshit. Okay. So you why do I need to be deemed crazy and locked away? You don't. Okay, but why does she say I need to be deemed crazy and locked away? Because legally, as it is right now, they can't do that because you're not fucking crazy. And That's so not what I'm saying. I'm saying why... Does she want that to happen? Correct. So, yeah, so you can't say anything. In because? Because then it puts her in a bad light and her husband, who is a psychotic. The truth comes out. Because... She has something to hide. Oh, yeah. He has Definitely. something to hide. Look, they don't want the, the bottom fucking out. line is Jason can sit there with his friends and babble Kevin's crazy all he wants. Oh, I never did all this road rage shit. It was Kevin. He's crazy. 
And you're like, no. And and this never would have come out if he wasn't pinning it on me in the first place. Um, right. <laughs> That's a good Kevin, point. he can sit with his friends yeah. and go, Kevin's crazy, don't listen to what he says. But the minute, the minute, that's freedom of speech. Yeah. The minute I don't like what Kevin said, I'm going to deem him crazy and lock him in jail and mental institutions and rid him in the world. And I'm going to go as far as getting into Congress of the United States to pass laws to fucking pass little cryptic hidden laws with loopholes to rid Kevin of the world. So it's everything anyone needs to know because her only focus should be strengthening and bettering a nation not turning it into a mob state right. where we can hunt down and kill anyone we, we we don't like or has something negative about us. Right. And if they find out we're hunting him to have him killed or locked away in the first place, then we're going to yeah. amp up our power to rid him of the world. That's horrible. Yeah. Okay. So they have some knives. I mean, there is no dispute. No, they definitely There's have no dispute. Things. If we walked into fucking LAPD with this right now, they, they, they lie lying. and say we won't, we can't, or there's nothing here. There's nothing there, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, right. And so you know that these events are paid off and connected to Jay Pilchick, court reporter Jay Pilchick with Debbie Woolman and Van Nuys Porthouse going from West Coast to East Coast to West Coast. You know that Dinsey's contact and paid off Jesus. and connected to the political people yeah. Jen Pilchick is working with to exterminate me. And you know that the entire reasoning Jen Pilchick is doing this is because of the information in my head before I even knew what I knew. Does right. that make sense? Yeah. And Absolutely. you know that Jason Perlman sent Mike Huntley after me starting at 14 who wanted me to come back from University of Colorado early to start mm -hmm. a company with him because he, he realized that there was too much information in my head that could come out. Right. And at the end of those six years at Golden State or at uh, Signet E Services, Mike Connolly went from who he was pretending to be to you're a fucking dead man linked to my brother. Originally right. my brother's friend. Right. Okay, now we have all sorts of events in Colorado. Jason Baum sent after me, originally my brother's friend. Mike Wexler oh. sent after me, originally my brother's friend. Right. All the people told to come after me on IRC all across the world. Internet related chat. Right. All these things going on are cover-ups. As a matter of fact, Jason Perlman wanted me to see the internet in 1994 really bad to work with the government yeah. to build these kill tools around me because he realized that there was information in my brain about his childhood fuck-ups. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Okay. So, I think... Oh, we have one more topic and then we can freeform it. But how much time do you have? Five minutes. <laughs> Five minutes. Are you sure we have more? This is a very yeah, important topic. I know. Um... See if you can extend that for this last topic. I'm looking for a sheet of paper here. That, oh, here it is. The one with the... Yeah, that one. I have it right here. Okay. Um, so I'm just waiting for you to... This is important. Okay. I'll just wait for her response. Okay. Okay, so I believe the last video we did was this event where we went down to Van Nuys Courthouse. Mm -hmm. As we left, and I, you were being a little shy about it, I don't know why. As we left, okay, the first we pointed out the groups of civics yeah. surrounding where I walk out of my house. Oh, yeah. And that's, am I imagining the five or five gray civics with about seven no. other different color civics? No, there's a ton of civics. Okay, so there. you see the in red. this tiny little area these groups three together, two together on the other side. Yeah. Do you feel that that's possible statistically or it looks manipulated? I think it's very unusual. It definitely. Okay, and being that I have 19 years, or let's say five years of daily video of different car patterns like this, especially right. by my gate, and you driving around with patterns. me with the cars and twos backwards and all that, it cannot be coincidence. Right. They're angry, they're it's directed at me. Right. They make me look like I have deemed mental illness and um, that when we drove by the Asian guy mm -hmm. who is now on video putting dog shit on my car oh my which god which you saw the photos yeah that um, was, you saw him on video I have him on video um, Jesus what an asshole. okay and I don't know if you watched the video I sent you on the text where he he's pointing his car lights at me um, uh, you know it'll take too long to watch text? it 
it, I texted okay. the video a couple weeks ago of it's about a five day video showing the civics parking and pairs different ones mm -hmm. changing and moving yeah. all around my gate and the progression and then him trying to intimidate me pointing his car lights at me which green t phillips would say see he's he's not he's pissing people off in the community yeah but who well i mean this guy that? is working on me with mass groups of people taking turns in anger and rage to have me fucking executed right you're just and i'm not allowed to say out. anything i just sit there and take it till you're dead yeah no okay so so i stand up for myself verbally yeah uh, okay, so let's go through this really quick. Okay. Let's talk about the Asian from the civic group. So there's a group. There's a, at least seven civics that work on me all yeah. day and night. This will be going on now for six months, probably longer. Mm -hmm. They don't just do it in front of my gate. They also do it on the other side and threes yeah. together and this and that. I remember seeing that. They also, obviously, with all the other video, they do the groups of pickup trucks, the groups of Jeeps. Audis, the Lots groups of Jeeps, yeah. and the one corner on Owens Mouth and Burbank for... For months they had something like eight to ten black Cherokees and Rangers all together and then they Those dispersed. Old, yeah. Okay, so it goes from the Chargers. The Chargers, the act of people coming out of their garages knowing when I walked to my car, right. watching me on on IP camera with the security companies, told to mm -hmm. stalk and hunt me. Okay, so everything, all the above. Yeah. The sum of everything. Okay, so but let's stick to the Okay. The civics because if we talk about everything, it'll just go crazy. Yeah. So we have groups of gray civics all together, three, all parts, one here, one behind him, one behind him, three gray civics, maybe two more on the other side, maybe a white and a black one pull up. Yesterday there was a red one with a gray one. So when I walk out to my car, the idea of reference, try to turn Kevin into a schizo, right. tactics are happening, and then it's we need to deem Kevin as crazy. And it all links back to childhood and why are you trying to make me look crazy? Right. What is it you have to hide? Exactly. And they're actually following through with trying to pass laws to lock me in mental institutions. That's so funny. And nobody will fucking help me. Okay? And I'm not trying to be mean to you, but even though we talk about it, no one's actually doing anything to mm -hmm. stop it. Okay? It's the entire planet, over four to seven billion people actively hunting me. I'm not trying to guilt you or anything. No, no, no. Okay. Um, okay. So... As we leave to go to the police station, he's videoing Brittany with the camera in his anger and rage. The guy standing outside the car? The Asian yeah. guy. Yeah, okay. He's videoing you. Remember that? We're leaving. Yeah, I go, I look. Do. I go, look. It's on the last video. It's online now. He's pointing his cell phone at you videoing yeah, in I anger. Do that. Kevin doesn't talk. Right. He's exerting anger towards you. Yeah. Why, why is he mad at you? I can tell you why. Do you understand why he's mad at you? Yeah. Because say it for I'm, the I'm like with you, obviously telling the truth. They're so you're a witness, confirmed. correct? Yeah. And there are some sickos that blow away witnesses and kill them. Oh yeah. Because they want to get away with the crime, exactly. just like Jen Pilchick and Jason Perlman are trying to deem me as crazy to get away with this crime spree, yeah. of trying to make it look like I conformed to media as a kid and showing me a hundred thousand horror movies and going Kevin's crazy and he conforms to media and needs to die. Right. Okay, all these things. So he's mad at the witness and he wants, he's exerting this, I'm going to call it a death stare because that's what my mother says that I have when I smile at a girl and think she's cute or really? starting with Christy Reynolds or being too shy to talk to Christy Reynolds. So it's a death stare. If you're shy, you're a murderer. Okay. That's the black and white thinking in my family. Yeah. And yet they're their own worst enemies and they're the psychotic murderers. Right. Okay. Exactly. So... He's actually exerting anger towards Brittany because they want to keep me isolated. We're going down to the police station. He probably already knows it because they have so much NSA level information on me from person to person. Right. Okay. Um, then he's on video harassing me and trying to point his headlights at me and provoke me. Okay. This is after the mass six months of groupings of civics following me from place to place or maybe two backwards on the left side of the underground garage and right uh some of them getting out whistling at me and things like that okay so so we're talking literally hundreds of thousands of events just with the civics alone right yes and then it's kevin's crazy and and he's he's annoying me and he's okay by breathing now like, now what happened this last couple of weeks is i parked my car on the street my eclipse yeah. 
Now I have a new signage on the car. Do you? It's more specific. It's less, instead of Kevin Perlman Target, it's actually a picture of me in jail clothing on a Target and bullets oh, around really? and then on it states, uh, hunted on IRC and uh, women sent after me and this and that. So it's all specific now. They can't play their bullshit. Oh, it's some vague, Kevin wants to become famous. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now they're really mad about that. So I parked my car on the street and for a day and a half to two days, my car alarm keeps going off every like probably 15 to 20 times. Jesus. Okay. So somebody's clearly... Someone keeps setting the alarm off. Yeah. Now I keep coming out. What the fuck's going on? Now I got all these videos. I come out. My alarm goes off. There's a second black eclipse, almost older version, copycat of mine next to my car. Uh, I come out again. There's an Audi, gray Audi with the engine running behind my car. Nobody in it. Oh my God. Um, and at one point I go, you know, is my alarm something wrong with my alarm? But I don't think it is because I went through this in the past. Yeah. Uh, one person put a note on a car, my car saying your alarm goes off all night. Mm -hmm. And so I looked at the DVR video and what happened was it went off one time. Okay. It didn't go off all night. It went on once. And on the DVR video, when it went off, a couple walks by and when they get about a hundred feet in front, the car alarm goes off. Okay. So. I can't specifically tell you with proof, but my guess is they might have an identical key fob or some way of getting the frequency. Okay. And I can't tell you. Maybe they just kicked the fucking tire. Right. Okay, I, I can't tell you. Something set it off. Though. But what I can tell you is my car went off in two days. It kept going off all night, all day and night. Jeez. I bring it in the garage. It doesn't go off. Oh, my, really? Correct. I put oh, it on the street. Shit. It keeps going off. Now, I come out. We have our mass... Remember the Grand Black Tactic? They yes. In the last two weeks, that's gone insane okay. all across Southern California. And they have like 100,000 fucking Grand Blacks from Redondo Beach to here to this and that. Jesus. And, and blue and blacks. And almost all bike riders are wearing black pants and blue shirt. Just the freaky insanity. Okay, but let's not focus on that. Okay. Let's focus on their anger. A girl in gray and black is waiting for me to walk by my car. And I find out she drives a, a, a white Elantra. Okay. Now, for a good 10 years, she's been parking her white Elantra, or is it Elance? I'm not sure. Elance for Elantra, whatever. Okay. She's parking with a black Elantra in mm -hmm. pairs of twos. Now, when I'm talking to her, I don't know who this person is. Right. She's blonde, wearing the gray and black pattern. But she is involved in the pairs of twos yeah. tactic pattern, right. of car tactic. Yeah. So now you already know, even though I didn't know this from talking to her, I knew enough that she's full of shit. But I didn't know she was that person. Right. Okay, so she's already involved in trying to make me mentally ill like the Asian guy in the groupings of civics. Right. So they have no argument. No. Okay, and you would yeah. agree yeah. from your totally. psychological and proof because yeah. this isn't really about psychology. Right. This is about murder operations. Just proof, truth, to real well, facts here. Correct, fact. Exactly. We don't care about empty evaluations. Hey, Kevin, Brittany's not allowed to leave her office when analyzing Kevin about things he's saying. But if Britney's out witnessing it, then, then that pisses off people exactly. in the judicial system like Green T. Phillips and Seymour Hamster and judges, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. 100%. So that's why they're cranking down on you that you're unethical for leaving your office. Which is complete bullshit. And doing therapy with me because, right. like usual, nobody would give a flying fuck. No. It's completely acceptable and appropriate. Okay. So, so they have something to hide as well. Yeah. Linking oh, to Jen yeah. Pilchick and Jason Perlman. Right. Okay. So her statements to me. She starts off nice, trying to bait me and reel me in. Hey, Kevin, you know, your car alarm keeps going off and this and that, and blah, blah, and this, and it's really annoying everyone, and this and that. And I said, you know what, I, I totally know. I heard it, and I keep coming out, and I'm trying to figure out who keeps putting this dog shit on my car, because there's dog shit on my car as I'm talking to her. I can't fucking believe that shit. And, um... I see someone put a little threatening note there, even though it looks kind of friendly, like, don't park your car here um, because the alarm's really annoying, uh, with little cryptic schizo messages, like the capital L-O-T for lot, when they say parking lot, oh, yeah. and the three patterns and all of these things, sort of playing this the, the game they constantly do. Um, Kevin, you know... Um, your car is really annoying and it's bothering us. Can you kind of bring it in the garage, you stupid fucking dirty Jew? Right. The undertone of it. Yeah. And so it's always that 
at the end. Does that make sense? Yeah, always like, like I used to walk down and hand out cards and I'd pass out cards and on um, this and that and like Kevin, you know, can you not put your card on my car? Okay, sure, sorry, and I take the card off. Thanks thanks man or something bro, with with his whatever. in the repetitive sequence of the man tactic yeah. or bro as an in innuendo or maybe it's dog. Aggressive or whatever. They're not they're not just street talk, it's actually innuendos. Right. And it's done like a hundred thousand times. It'll go past I think the man tactic is now going on five years. Holy almost shit. person after person. I didn't realize and that. And now it's slowed down and now it's starting up. Okay. So if a hundred times a day someone's put incorporates man in a sentence yeah. directed at you, then the tone, the underlying tone, is Kevin, can you please this really bothers me? Thanks, you fucking dirty Jew. Right. And then what's he trying to do? The same thing my brother was doing when he kept hitting me in the back of the head or flicking me in the back of the ear over and over when I was a young child trying to get a reaction going, this guy's fucking crazy. Look what he did to me. Right. But he's instigating it the entire time. And then it's Kevin's annoying. Right. Right. And don't you see the fact that the same tactic started from Jason Perlman. Right. At very young age, maybe eight years old or younger, is being gone, is going from stranger to stranger. Right. Like, how does that happen? Okay, it's not one random event. It's not trauma. No. Oh, Kevin's traumatized from what Jason did at eight years old. It's... Continuous. Continuous, minute by minute. Uh, how long? I've been in here an hour and a half. When mm-hmm. I was out here, there's probably... I've already had two or three man tactics this morning on the way out I here. I doubt that. Okay, so the, the underlying tone is, Hey, Kevin, can you please? It really bothers me. You dirty fucking Jew. You need to die. Right. Okay, now how do people react to... That statement, if it's direct or non-direct, because they're the gonna, tone itself is the tone. Exactly. You're going to react. Correct. Okay, so what they're trying to do way. is when I show that I'm being nice, they yeah. want that extra reaction. Right. Okay, so I don't want to get too sidetracked. Um, where, where the hell was I? The At point the is, shit. the lady says, with the dog shit on the car, showing that they're the instigators. Clearly, yes. You know what, Kevin? And they, it's, there's there's two people. There's a guy on his balcony and there's a girl above him on her balcony. Mm-hmm. And the girl goes, you're setting it off to piss us off. I said, how am I setting it off? There's dog shit. And the lady in the gray and black says, well, didn't you come out at 2 a.m. last night? And I said, how I probably did. I kept coming that? off when you guys set off the alarm. Oh, oh, so you came out? Why would you come out if your alarm went off? What how are you, you fucking know? talking about? How would she know you came out at 2 a.m.? Exactly. I didn't even get to the point yet, and Brittany picked it up. Right. Like, how would you know that? So in the first you place? just said it. Everything is documented. Everything is collected with NSA right. level information. They have cameras pointing at my house. If I walk out tomorrow with a red shirt, mm. ten people might come out of the local area, not just my block, the local area with red shirts, showing that it's an IP-based cam given out to everyone to stalk me. Right. Okay. That's how they know. And it's going through the security companies with the police to stalk, hunt, torture, and kill. Right. Working, connected to Jen Pilchik to deem me crazy for Jason with his road rage shit and all the shit he did and going after Greg Wall with the crowbar. Now you're going to ask, why are the, why is the police, government, psychology community, security companies helping Jason try to kill people or do all his road rage shit? Right. Because their original intent was to eradicate Kevin Perlman starting at five. That's the only answer that it can be. Okay, that Jason, like you saw with Greg Waugh, is mad at me Mm -hmm. for stating that this event happened and Jason's coming after me, so Greg's mad at me. He's not mad at Jason for going after him with a crowbar. He's mad at me for being a snitch. You're a snitch, you're dead. That doesn't make sense. Not at all. It makes zero sense. Yeah. Okay, so the lady says, with the other people, the girl says... By the way, this is all on video. The girl says, um, well, you're setting it off. I said, how am I setting it off? I'm way down there inside my house, and any person that has any brains will tell you that these key fobs are line of sight. They only go like 100 yeah, feet. Clearly. And how am I doing this through walls way down there when you live right here, 20 feet away? Right. You could be setting off. You could be kicking the tire. You could be having your own key fob. Putting you could be doing dog anything. dog shit on it. Yeah, you know? and don't you think that putting dog shit and shit on my car over and over... Or signs. Oh, and they also sort of bent the mirror. Really? Like not bent, not, not but vandalized, but you know they fold. Well, yeah. he took it and he folded it in, God. showing that they're fucking with the car. They're fucking. With and me. not one, but all of them are saying that I'm trying to provoke them by setting off my alarm when dog shit is sitting on the car, 
provoking notes like blackmail notes, emotional blackmail notes are on the car. Like you're not going to put dog shit on your own car. Yeah. And then she says to me, the guy's up there and says, well, you know, Kevin, nobody wants to know about your life. And I just sort of stopped and I come off. Right. Because I didn't really explain it because I knew it wouldn't matter. Right. Maybe you don't want to know about my life because you're involved in attempted murder. Right. But the honest, legit, ethical, moral people, they want to know the truth. Right. Even though they're being fed lies. But if you were fed 100,000 lies about this guy, wouldn't you want to know that they're all lies? Yes. Okay. I would. So, so, and my point in the beginning is that these people that are attacking me in anger and rage, when I say that they don't know, they don't understand what they're doing, it's not that they don't know their actions. Right. They're being fed lies and they're acting in anger. But it's what if you find out you killed some guy? Right. Who's because innocent. someone told you he did something and right. then you found out that you were lied to and you killed an innocent man exactly. even though you shouldn't be killing anyone for any reason. Exactly. Then okay. it's like how do you live with that? Correct. So the point is that the truth, the people actually do want to know if they're being lied to. Yes. They're just trying to sever all my ability to tell anyone and defend myself. Right. Now the lady says... He, he sets the the motive. Kevin, nobody wants to know about your life because there's signs on my car. Right. Cars, plural. Nobody wants to know about your life. Well, he's not speaking. Ju- he's speaking for everyone worldwide. Why is he right. not speaking for himself? Kevin, I don't want to know about your personal life. Oh, that's right. I said to him, I don't want you to fucking know my personal <laughs> life. I want you to leave me the fuck alone. That's what I said to him. Yeah. Good. They didn't understand it. How not? What did they say? They didn't, the lady says, get your shit off the roads. Get your shit off the roads? I'm referring to my your cars, cars, plural. Right. Okay, so now let's, let's break this down from a behavioral psychological standpoint. Mm-hmm. We have a car with a bad alarm. And their cover-up argument is that the alarm keeps going off and I'm doing it to You're it. doing it. Yeah. Why would Doesn't you? Doesn't make any sense. No. I put the cars in the garage to test it. Nothing it only happened. goes off there. I have video of other lies from them. And you actually have emails from people. Remember, you got emails. Yes. Uh, I parked my car down by Mike Huntley's house. Yeah. Old house. He doesn't live there anymore. Yeah, I definitely got emails. Because the alarm keeps going off and they're contacting you. I know. Okay, so you have lie after lie from random people. People all across cities, different cities. Yes. And it's not, Kevin, get your car off the road because your fucking alarm's annoying. It's plural, get your cars with a nobody wants to know about your life, personal life. But if that was the case, they wouldn't be following around trying to get dirt on me. Exactly. Okay. So they're, they're full shit. They're obsessed with They're obsessed. Yeah. And what they're really saying is, I'm trying to get whatever I can to use against you. You don't talk or we kill you and you're not allowed to tell anyone what we're doing. Right. Okay. Exactly. Once again, something to hide, link to Jen Pilchick, Jason Perlman. Why do they have this allegiance? I can't tell you. It doesn't make no, any sense. Doesn't. But it's going through the psychology community. Um, it's... I think I have... Okay, so... Oh. Now. I don't know if you got all the pictures. Now, remember when I do this, I'm videoing all day and I'm talking to my camera. Right. Documenting it. Yeah. Now, I, I stayed in the camera. Because that's all on video too. I'm going to take my Eclipse here. I'm going to put it in the garage and make mm-hmm. sure that the alarm is okay. See if they're lying or not, even though I already know the truth. Yeah. And I'm going to take my GMC Envoy that has Kevin Perlman Target on it. Mm-hmm. Not that this was actually being done before I had signs on my car, but I'm still going to stick to the current lie, their mm-hmm. current changing tactics. And I'm going to bring the Envoy, I'm putting the same spot. Where the eclipse is, because this alarm isn't going to go off. Right. Now, logically and factually, if they do shit to the car with the alarm, there's no question whether the alarm is bad. Right. Then their argument is bunk about oh, yeah. the alarm bothering them. Exactly. Okay, next day I come out, shit's on the car, on not only on the eclipse, but dog shit's now on the, other on alarm. the envoy, which oh, I have video footage God. of the Asian guy in the gray Civic. I don't have his license plate. I do have sort of photos of all the license plates, but I don't know which one's what. What the fuck? So the Asian guy who's trying to set me up Uh and then playing victim like they all do is putting dog shit on my car and he walks by and he bends the mirror and this and that on the envoy. But their argument 
I thought their argument was that your eclipse Isn't alarm is pissing us off, right. and you're doing it to us, which doesn't make any sense. No. So now the eclipse is gone. The envoy is there, and they're defacing the envoy, not in damages way, but, but in harassment way. way, provoking harassment and threatening ways. With you don't talk. And um, the argument is not an argument. That okay, so now their argument doesn't hold. No, because it's your alarm, alarm. and your, your alarm's ruining our life. But wait, but now the eclipse There's is in no the garage. Alarm. Exactly. Now her statement, her qualifying statement, get your shit in the garage. Right. Is referring to two cars, cars, not one, and it has nothing to do with alarms. Right. Okay, so no, what's the real? Do you understand right. what the real message is? Like, get your shit out of here. Like, we but wanna, what's the you, message? There's a mess. People don't walk around. Hey, Brandy, you're not allowed to park your car on the street. I'm gonna follow you to your house tonight. You're not allowed to park your car on the street. No. Okay, what's the real message here? What, like intimidation and wanting to sign? Yeah, you but but a reaction. you don't fucking talk. Exactly. You know, they're they're threats. You don't talk. Right. If you talk, we're gonna deface your car. We're gonna put dog shit on your car. We're gonna slash your tires. They have seven tire slashings or something. Car so top slashings, paying off John Paul Nerano to punch me seven times in the head. We also have black guys paid off to hit me in the face. We have um, they weren't That's damaging or anything. Right, I mean, but, but there's still intimidation tactics with Starbucks yeah. Corporation. We have two events from Starbucks Corporation paying people off to physically assault me. Right. Then we have Greg Koenig and one uh, tire slashings, top slashings. Um, and they tried to say it was a nail in your tire, right? Or something like that? Like it wasn't It like changed. Oh, you old tires. And uh, the, you have old tires, but two of them went flat at the same time in one night. Right. What are the chances of that? Oh, you know? well, you know, uh, I don't know what you're saying. Um, um, we're not allowed to write updated reports. What the Yeah, fuck? okay, sure. Right. <laughs> it's garbage. It's and everything's bullshit. proven. It's all on video. I video everything. I document it. Oh, now you have OCD because you walk around with a camera all day and you have mental illness. Well, I wouldn't have to fucking walk around with a camera all day if, if you weren't hunting me to have me killed for getting into photography. And when does this start, by the way, with the whole uh -huh. camera thing? You know? Uh-uh. 29? 2032? 1996 or 1997, I take a film photography class in University uh -huh. of Colorado and Mike Wexler, sent after me by Jason Perlman, is working all these weird angles. Let's go on a road trip and you're not allowed to take picture of people. The fuck? With some kind of weird cryptic threat or something. Right. That doesn't even And I wasn't sense. picking up on it because it was so subtle, but well, yeah. all these things are linking together. Right. Why would you follow me around getting mad at me for taking a, a photo? photography class? I wasn't even I... really getting into photography. I was just taking a fucking class. Right. You wouldn't. And Nobody I didn't even that. own a camera. I borrowed Chad Bauer's Canon A1. Right. Okay, so the only thing I did was go out, according to my professor, Kevin, I want, we want, uh, this assignment is to go out to a city and take pictures. Oh, well, you walked around Denver and took pictures, so you're harassing people. You were instructed to do so by your Okay, but where's the harassment? I was instructed, and there's no harassment either. How is walking around a city and taking pictures? If I take, like, a picture in a city, I might have 50 people in a frame. Yeah, did I, that's Did I commit 50 unusual. felonies or something? No, of no. course not. Now, the entire class is doing it, but, but they're only the mad only at one, one guy. Right. That's not... Because it's Kevin's behavior. Because he's annoying. He's provoking people with his camera by going out to Denver and taking pictures of buses and this the and that. And, then, class, and guess what? Then it changes. Here's where you really get spooky. So then my final project... Is I called it called it the final. I don't know what you call it. The final end project of the mm -hmm. class. Yeah. Was um, the big project was uh, I called it the SETI project. Search for extraterrestrial intelligence. No shit. And I went out and took Denver pictures and buses and people playing chess and this and that. And I composited um, an alien in all of them. That's so cool. Like an alien playing chess with a guy. Oh, I love um, it. And you have to remember back then. Now every ten year old does it, but back then. Yeah. You needed like telecine machines and it was all film based That's and so cool. non digital or partly digital. It was a nightmare to do. Right. So, everyone in the class was like, Oh, that's amazing. Maybe some of them. I don't want to boast myself. But oh, it, sounds really it was cool. out of the norm yes. of the normal assignment. Then their argument changes to the world that I'm crazy and I think I saw an alien and I believe in the Illuminati. Oh my God. From a harmless fucking project. Right now, uh -huh. you have to sort of question what's going on. 
if first I'm harassing people with a camera, then as I believe in the Illuminati or I think aliens, aliens abducted me or something like this. Right. It doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make sense. It just keeps switching to the next thing and the next thing. Then it's, I find out Kevin suffers from mental illness. We need Jesus. to deem him. We need to deem him crazy and lock him away. Well, it doesn't matter if I'm crazy or not, like I said on my website and no. proving a point by putting on a stupid afro wig or whatever that i'm allowed to be crazy yes. it's in the fucking constitution in the united states that you are allowed to be whoever you are provided you're not breaking laws exactly and, and for them not. to say that i'm annoying them and bothering them by having some kind of emotion or expression doesn't make sense no it's okay if i put on a black wig and like walk up to you and punch you in the face going That's and mug you then right you have an argument if i just put a black wig on and laugh and go peace Driving my car? Who cares? Who cares? Exactly. And most people are going to laugh their asses off. Exactly. And you probably kind of look like you have to go, right? I, I just have to pee. Oh, okay. Uh, um, before she pees, right, let though. me do a qualifying. Even though this is pointless, I shouldn't have to do this. There used to be a guy, you, you might be too young, um, Santa Monica or Venice Beach. He's in a lot of movies, older movies, like 80s movies. Okay. He wore a turban. He had roller skates. And he played the guitar, like Jimi Hendrix. Okay. And that's like what he did. And he skated up and down playing Jimi Hendrix. That's awesome. It's totally out there. Yeah. And he was known and he's famous. And he's in a lot of movies as a, I don't know what you call him, like, not like, an extra. Oh, but what a, are they called? A, I know what you're talking like about. A, I don't know. Not a cameo because that involves an uh, actor, but just a small like role. Like appearance or whatever. Yeah, like they're videoing, like maybe it's down and out in Beverly Hills and they're videoing Venice Boulevard and he's playing guitar right. skating by and that's it. And he's famous and he's known for that. Now, where people are running around going, that guy's crazy because he plays guitar and wears a turban, so we need to deem him crazy and lock him in mental institutions? No. No. Okay, so everything that we stand for, Hollywood, expression, art, right. I'm committing crimes. Every piece of artwork I'm being, I've ever created, I'm being hunted for with a angry and raised people, especially with coffee shops, right. trying to dramatize things that they, they would never do to anyone else, right. showing motive yeah. that they're just doing these stupid to things you. that don't make sense. Exactly for some other reason yeah. and trying to make me think it's my fault. Right. Okay, Which so. It's not. Okay, so tinkle time. Yeah, um, yeah, and I don't know how much I, time she has left, so. I don't have. So are we ending yeah, it here, maybe? pretty much it. Okay, so we're ending it here. Um, this was a very important topic. It was a lot of stuff. Hold, hold it for your final comments. Okay. Conclusion. Yes, this affects everyone, because it is important. This does affect all of your freedoms. Right. But before. You all, I help you with all your freedoms. All of you need to keep me out of cages and get the truth out of there because my life is just as important yeah. as your life. And for people to try to make me look like Jesus Christ because they don't like a joking shirt I bought when I was 21 in Ashland, Oregon, Lord's Gym shirt that nobody would normally care about. And I've rebought them at christianbook.com because <laughs> the Christian community doesn't care about them. Um, right. This isn't about me being Jesus and dying for you. This is about all of us having good, decent lives and honesty and truth. Yes. So, yes, I want all of you to be protected except for the people involved. <laughs> right. <laughs> they don't deserve it. Um, but, yeah, I do want to strengthen our Constitution and the truth. But most importantly, I want to be safe and protected and this to stop. Exactly. Right? So, you have every right that everybody yeah. else does to live live your life it's already been like taken from you correct i'm already way. 48 and, and half my life's oh more than half my life i probably will only live to 70 if i'm lucky i mean i can't tell you right but just to live in some peace without these yeah constant... try to salvage something exactly. out of what they've done so any concluding thoughts about the situation i mean i guess everything but what what we're talking about today it's pretty fucking terrifying that's my final thought, like to be aware of that because now the government and the government can make laws and then like these people are the ones getting into the government and politics and all that. Yeah, and it's all based on you don't fucking talk or exactly. we execute you. It's terrifying. It's, it's terrifying. not it's not based. Everything my brother's doing with Jen yeah. is not I wanna strengthen the nation, is I no. wanna sort of pass loopholes. And I can't say that hundred percent, but Every, I've been right about everything so far, yeah, correct? You have. Exactly. And there's a paper trail of her motives. Right. So what's to say it's scary. her agenda here, she, she might not have ever even thought of running for Congress right. until she realized that I was proving more and more of my innocence. And this is the most important part. The police were paid off. The judges were paid off. The jury was tampered and paid off. Right. 
It's all... Internal Affairs is paid off. Um, who else? What other agency? You've seen the FBI conversations. Yeah. They were involved. All, yeah, the CIA, uh, FBI, all of them, right? Department of Defense. Um, the board, the, what is it? The um, Board of Lawyers or whatever. What's it called? Oh, uh, the Bar Association bar, paid off. Oh, yeah. Internal Affairs, Bar Association paid off. Everyone. Okay, so I, my, I'm being fucking exterminated slowly with a plan of people. All these agencies are paid off that we're allowed to hunt down and kill Kevin since five years old. Right. It's not about anything. Now you have this bipolar crazy lady who isn't really... I don't know how involved she is in politics, but I can tell you that I don't know how she went from what she is to right. Congress level. Exactly. So she's probably being paid off or supported some by way, some yeah. kind of group saying we want to kill Kevin for what he knows. Right. It's So... So think about those ramifications here. They're putting people in power that shouldn't be right. to come after me, to exterminate me. And Dinsey is a prime example of someone right. that was paid off to do these things. Yeah. Dinsey. Break every law known to man and them saying we got his back. Right. That's garbage. Right. Yeah. It's complete bullshit. You can't believe what okay. everyone just tells you. You gotta look into that shit. And it's all based on some kind of crazy label that it's doesn't. All based that on nobody would care about anyway. Exactly. Do you know how many crazy, crazy people there are? Look, I, I in, in high school. I don't want to get too deep. We had two guys put in my class in eleventh grade, Miss Tunick's class. We had Mike Cho, who sat way over there, and we had um, shit, some Cho Cho, wait. Mike Cho is the crazy one. Stefano Cho, my good friend Stefano. He was awesome. Stefano sat next to me. Something happened. He got caught cheating. Had to take the class over. Mike Cho sat way on to my left, way down on the other side. And he had this like Tourette'sy. He just, every like twitches or ten, No, every 10 minutes he'd be like, You goddamn communist bastards! <laughs> and I have a feeling they were playing something off like okay. they took Stefano Cho out of the class and tried to make it look like I was provoking. Mike oh. Cho to make him go crazy or something, even though he was way the fuck over there. Right. But that's the things they're doing to me, right? Now, my point is I was going to get to is that I don't think that Mike Cho is being deemed someone with mental illness and being hunted and locked no, away in cages clearly. or jail cells and being mentally battered by criminals saying you're a criminal too and we got dirt on you and um, we're going to try to make you look crazy, paid off right. or contacted by the police. They're probably just going, oh, the guy suffers from mental illness and whatever. Who cares? You know, right, we're going to help them. Exactly. Okay. And then we have um, a guy in college that was Hawaiian and he never wore shoes and he would just talk to himself. And I remember going to my, I think it was like art history class and he would be in the elevator talking to himself. And people were going ballistic on exactly. the guy. Exactly. And not trying to lock him up or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. But here's Kevin and he's playing pool and people are befriending me. I want to take you to strip clubs and review the world. And that's um, bad. Somehow. Steve McPike, can I watch you play pool? And then he befriends me and they're working on me. And then I moved to California and then he sends Tim Thompson after me to hunt me and stalk me. And it's just insane. It's insane, right? It's completely because insane. Kevin needs to be deemed crazy and locked in cages. Well, it's got to be about something that someone did that they don't want me talking about, exactly. correct? <laughs> exactly. Okay. It's like you don't have to worry about deeming a crazy person crazy. Yeah, you just leave them the fuck alone. Exactly. And then, of course, I know I'm going on tangents, but... We have the people like Jen Heth sent after me, pretending she's schizo and trying to make me make it look like I'm trying to make her crazy. We have the right. Julia Sophia Renoso, uh, which was actually Rodney Morales, working with the police, planting drugs in my house, trying to make me, or trying to plant drugs in my house, right. trying to make it look like I'm abusive to people who magically turn into crazy people after they don't get their way and things like this, right? Right. Okay, so right. it's just going from person to person, place to place, thing to thing, uh, oh, or okay. Southern Oregon State. Colorado. Calabas is high at A right, middle school. Calabas is high. Southern Oregon State. University of Colorado. Back to California. One person sequentially after the next. Rid Kevin in the fucking world because he suffers mental illness and we gotta put him in cages. No, that's bullshit. And then we have my mother, I just want you to have a normal life. Right. So <laughs> what? What's her definition of normal? I Drilling know. holes in people's heads? I mean right. um uh, bashing people's skulls with crowbars? I mean, I don't fucking know, right? No, it's confusing as fuck. Yeah. It doesn't even make sense, logically, yeah. at all. At all. It's like boinging everywhere. I just want you to have a normal life. And like... Yeah. And like, would, 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 wouldn't your response be like, well, then stop and leave me the fuck alone? Yes. Like, how am I supposed to do that with this occurring constantly? Yeah. And they play this obsession card. Right. 
Oh, but my mom, my mother said to me on the phone the other day. She said, well, "Kevin, why can't you just focus on like now and work on this and that?" Mom, I'm being harassed every place I exactly. go, trying That's to make it thing. look. And she keeps saying, "Oh, it's something from 30 years ago." No, it's, it's now. Exactly. It's right now. Okay, so still, I can tell. I'm sorry, I was pulling. Up. Oh, okay. Yeah. But um. That's insane. You can't function and have a normal life if people are talking you. Correct. Constantly. It's like it's ongoing. It's like trying to have a normal life if every day someone launches a nuclear missile at you. Right. Or drops napalm on you every day. But my family keeps trying to make it turn it into a fabricated obsession issue. Did something happen to you thirty years ago and that's why you can't go out and live your life today? Jesus. Right? It's like you're not the one with the obsession here. Yeah. Okay? And it's not just her, it goes to my father, it goes to my friends and these random strangers. And every day, it's, look, I walk out of my house, these groups of people fall, come out, attack me in their anger mm -hmm. and rage. Um, I get verbal harassments from every person in the world. And you want me to have a normal life, but you can't say that that's wrong. Exactly. Okay, so, and they keep per trying to make, manipulate me into believing that I'm imagining it. You're not imagining it. Oh, is that for you? Yeah, just a minute. Yeah. And it's some traumatic event, and the only traumatic event I know is that Jason Perlman was bit in the face by a dog, and he wants me fucking dead and gone, and that's his trauma. Exactly. Okay, so that's your next. Yeah, is it two? It's almost Probably. two. I missed my one. That's okay. Yeah, I'm ten sure. till. I'll call her later. Okay, so we're... I gotta pee. This was a pretty important thing. This is good. Thing. No, so this was crazy. That's the conclusion I kind of took control of, but no, okay. it's okay. Yeah. No, um, it's good. Okay, um, so... That's that. Until next time, hopefully uh, we will get more Soon. during COVID world. And yeah. okay, so yeah. the end.